Now it's time to spin the fucking wheel! Fuka! Fuka Friday! We gotta drink smoke fuka on a Friday! Fuka! Fuka Friday! We gotta drink smoke fuka on a Friday! Welcome to Friday! Welcome to Food Car Friday. How's everyone doing in the chat? Hopefully you're wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm having a bad day today, and we're late, and I apologize to absolutely no one. How's everyone doing in the chat? Hopefully everyone's well. Hopefully everyone had a great week. As we are here, we are live on the Friday show. Hit the like button if you haven't done so. We got a blast of a show for you tonight as Hamza Chamaya versus Robert Whitaker is a fight that was announced a couple of days ago. We got the UFC Atlantic City fight this weekend. UFC 300 right around the corner. We got predictions. We got bets. We got hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. Big shout out to our sponsor, mybookie.ag. The promo code is MMA. H-O-L-E-S. With that promo code, you get a 10% match on your first deposit. MyBookie.ag, promo code M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S. 10% match on your first deposit. We'll be making some bets on MyBookie if anything sticks out. So good luck to everyone and do it responsibly. Shout out to ESPN Plus. If you're going to be watching UFC on uh, in Atlantic City, UFC AC, uh, click the link in the description down below and use our link, our promo link at ESPN+. Plus. Everyone that uses it, we get a little bit of a kickback. Thank you. Oh, yes. Okay, so we are here. We are live, and we're going to be talking about a bunch of things. I'm going to start off the stream. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to start off with something that I saw online. Charles Oliveira is having a baby. Congratulations to Charles Oliveira. By the way, we are playing the points game. If you want to play the points game and support the program, this is how it works. Bum, ba, da, bum. Every Friday we play this game over here. It supports the show. Thank you so much. Uh, $5 to enter the points game. Person with the most points wins. Very simple. So every donation that comes in, say points to a specific player, uh, we add up the points. The person with the most points wins and spins the wheel and you have a chance to win the conor mcgregor roadhouse doll that's right from big shots ufc approved roadhouse style that's what i'm going to call this thing for now on and maybe it will it'll land tonight but conrad won last week so he's in the game i'm in the game already and uh we're here hanging with the boys if you have 20 points next to the name you can be a co-host of the stream so you could be a co-host of the mma holes the greatest show on youtube 
and you can come cheer me up because I'm a little down today. And we're gonna get we're gonna get through this tonight. We're gonna get through this because we have a lot of fun stories to get to. But cheer me up in the chat with some likes. Uh, cheer me up with funny comments, and uh, let's let's get to it. I uh, def none of the above. Def none of the above. Wait, what was the question? John Doe. He had said he. Oh my God, was having a, a bad day, so I say neither. Let's see. Yeah, no, I just had a shitty day. How, how was your days today? Hopefully, your days were well. I mean, I, I listen. The family's great. Uh, you know, I have nothing to complain about. But I mean, you know, sometimes life throws curve curveballs at you. And on top of it, I trimmed my beard today, and I didn't have enough hair dye. I, well. My little can ran out, so you could see the the salt and red pepper coming in over here. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What is this here? I'm supposed to have luscious, but now you can see that. So that's happening too. So just add that to the nonsense. Oh, this will cheer me up. I'm being shopped right now. You remember that jam? I do. I do remember that. Pale monkey. Pale monkey. 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 He's a supporter of Canada. So get Canada in there. Let's go. Points two joints. Hey, monkey, 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 monkey. Yeah. He's a supporter of Canada. Bro, y'all give me dirty pride. Hey, I'm the drummer gang leader. Oh, hell, hell, monkey. Oh, hell, oh, hell, 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 monkey. Oh, hell, hell, monkey. Oh, hell, hell, monkey. Thank you. There we go. Look at that. Two joints is in the game. So we got Conrad, we got Mystic Moss, and two joints in the game. Thank you so much. That's basically how you get in the points game. Uh, we're going to get into this Charles Oliveira story real quick because I, I found this pretty funny. But uh, let's play this over here. Uh-oh. Watch out. Yeah. Come on, get loud, MMA holes in the crowd. We got a little MMA holes in the crowd. Come on, get loud, MMA holes in the crowd. 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 Murder Incorporated. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, see, I found I found the shirt. Could you believe this? I was I was like, whoa, there it is. Found the shirt over here. So thank you, DRS, for the six dollar donation. But didn't say points to anybody over there. DRS, let me know where those points go, my man. <laughs> Jesse dropping a 20. We get some deaths in the chat, baby. Come on, D-Rest. Are we farting on a Friday? <laughs> D-Rest says. Points to Atmos. Let's go. Yo. Am I winning Connor tonight? Am I winning Connor McGregor tonight? Thank you, D-Rest, for the $20 donation. Appreciate you. You are wonderful, wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. Let's put 20 points next to the boys over here. Holy smokes. It's been a minute since the boys have been in first place, and Mystic Moss has the points. 20 next to the name here. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go, 20. And that puts me in first place. It's been forever. Come on, baby. Oh, you know how to cheer me up. Thank you so much for the twenty dollar donation. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, T-Rest. Appreciate you. All righty, let's get that dub. Let's spin the wheel tonight. All right. So look at this over here. This is Charles Oliveira, and um, he's with his lovely. I don't know if it's his wife or his girlfriend. I'm not sure who they are, and they are having a gender reveal party or gender reveal. I don't know. That's Charles Oliveira singing in the background. Oh, oh, the, oh, the blue horse is in the lead. And blue balloons and Charles Oliveira is making out. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, my God. It must be a boy. Oh, boy. Charles Oliveira is having a boy. Now, I want to ask you guys and gals in the chat, what do you think of gender reveal 
parties or announcements. What do you guys think of it? I have two children. Didn't do it for either. <laughs> Didn't do it for... I, uh, I guess it's a boy, right? It's blue. Everything's blue there. Um, but I think it's the most obnoxious thing ever. <laughs> I don't know. And if you have done it, I no need, I'm not trying to insult you, but it's just a weird ass thing. I don't know. It's bizarre. What do you guys think in the chat? Has, has anyone been forced to do this? Do you like doing gender reveal parties? You have kids. I mean, what the heck? I mean, listen, it's big news. You got a boy. That's exciting. Heir to the throne. So congratulations to Charlie Olives for that. But th I mean, this is not, it doesn't get any more obnoxious. A horse. And I guess the horse that's in the lead will be the the gender, and then balloons. Wonderful, wonderful. It's gay as fuck. I, I agree, right? I, thankfully, Jesse was not into gender reveal stuff, uh, so I didn't have to put my foot down with that. But um, yeah, it's so weird and obnoxious. I don't mind uh, gender reveals. It's people, negative reactions that bug me. Uh, like the, wait, uh, like be angry at your genes, bruh. What? Oh, if you don't, if you're not happy with the outcome, what? I saw a guy start hitting stuff because, uh, smoke was pink. Oh my God. Let's, I'm sorry. I, it's just so ridiculous. That the horse was for dinner. So you're saying he ate the horse after he found out it was a boy. So dumb. I agree. It's obnoxious, right? I mean, listen, it, Hey, whatever makes you happy in life, right? You only get one life. So whatever makes you happy. Uh, but gender reveal things, it's so funny, right before I went live when I was scrolling through social media, this popped up, and I'm like, this is just like so ridiculous. I don't know, but congratulations to Charles, and he's having a baby boy, and look at this, look at the beautiful scenery. <laughs> Why, what is this, a wedding? Like, this is getting out of control. They got the mountains in the background, they got the big boy girl letters, I mean, this is the most obnoxious shit. Like, what if they get divorced? You know what happens if the if everything falls apart and everything like like all this is for nothing. I don't know. It's 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 so weird. I watch BKFC. It's the main event. I'm in the crowd. What the Joe Mama? You, oh, is it the John Dotson fight? Keep me posted on what happens over there. I'm actually interested in with John Dotson, but I'm on a BKFC strike. I haven't watched BKFC. Uh, I haven't watched it in forever. For, I have my reasons. Uh, is Jesse still into Arab wedding videos? Uh, Arab wedding video. I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask her. I have no idea. Some men still wanting to go Henry this uh, style and behead their girl because the smoke was pink. I kind of want to go down that rabbit hole and see that. I don't believe anything on the internet these days. I, I honestly don't. So when people are smashing TV because their team lost... Or if the gender reveal has pink balloons instead of blue balloons and someone goes nuts. I don't believe any of it. I think it's all fake. I got to be honest with you. I don't believe any of it. Because a lot of these prank people and these viral videos, the people have come out or have been exposed by setting these videos up because TikTok is so viral, right? So I don't believe any of that stuff, to be honest with you. So if a guy was smashing balloons because pink came out, ah, uh, I mean, you know what you signed up for, right? It's a 50-50 shot. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy it, really. Ah, oh, super <gasps> chat. Two joints. Points Canada here for you, Moe's. Look at this. Look at two joints. Bangs in with a 25 spot. Blasts him ahead of the mystical. Thank you so much, Two Joints. All right, Two Joints, you know what to do. Oops. Click that link. You know what to do, Two Joints, and come on in over here. Thank you so much, man. That is very generous and wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So anyway, Charles Oliveira is having a boy. Uh, I've seen some sure pissed dads. I, I got to be honest with you, pal. I, I, would, say, I would say about 80% of the stuff that we see online right now when it comes to whether it's pranks or upset people caught on camera, a lot of it's fake. You know, a lot of it is just, it's just bullshit. I, I don't want to be the, you know, I don't want to ruin the party, but I mean, it's the truth. So whether you want to believe it or not, it's up to you. If you enjoy it, watch it, laugh at it, but most of it's not even real. It sucks. It sucks that that is because there is some really funny stuff on the internet. Uh, bare knuckles, a slap fight all day. Uh, oh, unless it's BYB, I'll watch a little BYB. 
If it's the other one, bare knuckle, uh, I, what's it called? Um, power slap. All day long, all night long. Uh-oh. Yo, you guys are going ham tonight. d rest just dropped a 30 spot. Come on. Let's go, D-Rest. Conor McGregor's got the steroids in. Where are the whales? Got my proper 12 grin. Pull down my pants black from the waist down. Hey, d pass me my cocaine crown. Punch that old guy, hand truck. Oh my, titanium gym bone, knock your head sky high. The lead, party, a jam the whole roster. Bow down to the level yacht, only monster. Every time I see that burger sugar water. The grapes. Thank you, D Rest. Try this points most. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting the pillow tonight, baby. I'm getting the pillow tonight. The pillow's mine. In the realm of clean with the herb plus sway, there's an MMA on empty joints, blaze the night away. Two joints, two joints. Two joints. Chris, how's your day going, brother? Uh, great, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. How's yours going? Good. I'm feeling you, brother. But uh, the show's got to go on, and uh, we've got uh, people here to enjoy a few hours of our content. So, um, let's do this shit up, brother. That's right. The show always goes on, right? We've got to keep the yep. lights on over here, and uh, it's good to see you, two joints. Uh, how's everything going, other than the weird stuff? Uh, actually, things have been pretty good. Uh, the weather's still getting much better here and uh, just getting ready for a long, hot summer. I mean, just it is what it is. We didn't get any snow at all this winter, so it'll translate into a long, dry summer. But, you know, it's Canada, so you get what you get. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, in the chat right now, if you just jump in and hit the like button, we got two joints as a co-host. If you want to become a co-host, you need the 20 points next to the name. Remember, the points game is tonight, and this is Fuka Friday. Uh, what do you think about gender reveal parties? Uh, you know what? I think it's uh, in this day and age, Moss, when you hear gender reveal, it, it almost makes you think about something kind of odd and weird, like an LGTBO kind of thing. But honestly, yeah. it's kind of cool. You know, it's a celebration. It isn't just the the mother and the father finding out on their own and then they let everybody know. It's a party. Like, mm. let's all find out together. And I think it's kind of cool. Oh, okay. You like it? All right. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because when I was in New York, there were so many of it. And it was like every time you would scroll on social media, everyone's like, it's a boy. It's a girl. It's blue. It's green. I caught the football. I did this. I'm like, oh, my <laughs> God, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> then again, I did photography, too. So, you know, a lot of these, like, cake smashes, gender reveals, you know, all these weird, obnoxious things. I Maybe I'm, I got sick of it after a while, you know? Yeah, maybe just you've seen too many of them, and then after a certain point, she's like, "Fuck, I got to get a different different uh, job here. <laughs> this is getting boring." Yeah, right? yeah, it was get, it was getting out of control. Um, but yeah, congratulations to Charlie Olives. What'd you think about the the big news of Hamzat Chimaev versus Robert Whitaker? I think that's a super interesting fight, man, because uh, Whitaker is one of these guys that just keep staying consistent at his high level. Like even if he loses, he's losing to the top guys, Moss, but I think he's going to, he's going to find a way to beat Shemayev. Honestly, Bobby Knuckles, I, I'm a big supporter of him. So there you go. And um, I, I got to be honest with you. I agree. I, I think um, 
I, I've been biased. I've actually been biased on both guys. I loved the hype of Hamzat um, when he was taking fights on short notice and this and that. And then as of late, I'm like, damn, man. You know, I know he mauled Kevin Holland, but he missed weight. Uh, he almost ruined the card. Uh, he's looked mortal against Gilbert Burns and, and Kamaru Usman. He did get the win on both of those fights. But then when you think about Robert Whitaker, this is a big step up. And and Robert definitely redeemed himself against Paolo Costa. I think Costa versus Chimaev would have been very competitive. You know, uh, Robert was a welterweight. So, I mean, I guess there is that. But uh, Rob's a pretty big guy now. And he's a very well-rounded athlete. And I think Rob gets his hand raised as well. Well, I th- I think Bobby Knuckles is a, is a true warrior, man. Like, uh, he suffered some tough losses. And then he dealt with depression. And then he, he fucking humbled Vittori and did the exact same job on Costamos. I think he's going three for three. Jemaya's going to feel it, man. A decision uh, unanimous for Bobby Knuckles. Yeah, a decision. That's why. That's the way I'm going as well. Now, it is in Saudi Arabia, and a lot of people, actually a bunch of people were messaging me saying that um, you think it's because Hamza can't fight in the States, and that's probably it, right? So, I mean, it's, it's great. It's a great headlining fight. Whitaker was supposed to fight in Australia. They probably paid him some good money. To go on over to Saudi Arabia, um, and um, this fight kind of came out of nowhere, right? Absolutely, yeah. It was kind of shocking to see it just the other day, kind of put up there. So, yeah, I, I was I was very delighted though when I saw the rest of the card. Um, uh, very happy. Now it's funny they say free on ABC, and I'm like, oh damn, I got rid of cable, so I still got to find it. Like I don't I don't know if I could still watch it on ESPN. I'm not quite. Is that sure. Saudi Arabia? Broadcasting company or is that American? So, oh, oh, that's right. You don't have ABC over there, right? Yeah, that's right. You wouldn't yeah, have that. Well, I don't have cable. I mean, that's I right. just live off the internet. But I mean, yeah, it's expensive to get a cable package these days, man. I mean, holy fuck. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> think about. I keep two joints. I keep forgetting you're in Canada. <laughs> that's okay, Moss. Right on. Here we go. Uh, hold on, we got an alert over here. This is from Casey Jones. Fourteen months as a member. He says points, Moss. You know that's not how you play the game. You know how you know that's not how you play the game. Anyway, thank you, uh, Casey. Appreciate you. We got another alert coming in here, and this is from Mr. Death. Wonderful, wow, wonderful. Death is going crazy tonight. Death never waits. Points, Mo's. All right, let's go. Never waits. Boy, D rest the he's in your corner tonight, Moss. Holy smokes! I fall. like it. I like it. Good man, D rest. Good man. Thank you so much, D rest. I appreciate you, and I appreciate those two dollars over there. Yeah, D rest. He, I, he, I think he's feeling that pillow is going to hit tonight. You know, for Roadhouse. Oh jeez, <laughs> my Roadhouse pillow. Well, uh, you can have that pillow all you want, Moss, but this booth book ain't going nowhere. Hold on, no, hold on. I want to check it out. Uh, wait, well, let me get this alert in real quick, and we'll check out the booth book that got there. You know, I just feel so special. Whoa! I've got a special face. Short, bust to outer space, mind in a special place. GSP abducted me, I'm from an alien race. Special face, special face, special face. STHU points mystic. <laughs> my man my man d rest tonight's my game baby thank you so much d rest i appreciate the 11 points to the mystical over here 63 oh i'm gonna run away with this game tonight this is looking good thank you so moss, much the way, it's, the way it's looking moss uh the wife might have to make some room in bed for that fucking connor pillow every time you guys go to bed <laughs> i tell you what if i spin the wheel tonight and I open and I get this pillow. I will unseal Conor McGregor tonight, right before the predictions. I will unseal it and do naughty things to it. I know everyone's been waiting for this thing to be unsealed. Maybe tonight could be the night. Uh, hold on a second. I'm hitting all the wrong scenes. Oh my God. Thank you, D Rest. And thank you, everyone that's donating to the points game. There it is. Two joints. Take a good look. I don't want to look at that thing. It's coming to Canada. It's going to look really nice right here. I don't need to see it. <laughs> so let's see the booth book. Let's see that thing. Uh, did you find a good home for it besides the garbage? Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, it's in the bathroom? You've been reading it? No, no, no. It's just got a lot of down south um, 
kind of edgy dialogue and stuff like that. You know, like I've only gotten through a first couple of pages, but I mean, he seems like a bit of a badass. Really? You know? So yeah, yeah, I didn't read this book. So is it is it enjoyable? Is it actually a decent book or? Well, I mean, Moss, it's uh, it's history, and mm. it's about like 80, 90 pages of shit that actually went down. So, I huh. mean, but it was translated. Like, of course, this was all an original <laughs> calligraphy and scratch, like back in the day, and it's been reprinted, right? I'm so stoned. Yeah, but that's what it is. This is it. It's got a lot of good stories, uh, a, a major good story, and uh, I'll share it with you one day. When <laughs> I get there. We should have you read a chapter, like do streams of you just reading a chapter per stream. You know, what do you think? Oh, it's definitely an option. I mean, if people don't mind getting off their wallets and it goes to the business boss, I'll, I'll put them up for almost anything. What, one's in the chat. Maybe that's how you can kick off your YouTube channel. You know, it's two joints reads chapters of the oh, booth book. It, it would never last, man, because like I can try and be funny all I want. But when it comes down to the content I want to put out, Moss, I think YouTube would eat me up. Like growing <laughs> weed and shit like that. Like seriously. Yeah, so. it is a grind. It, it's it's yeah. it's. I don't know. If you do it for fun, I think uh, if you do it, if you stream it, they will come. I, I, I truly do believe that. Um, we got another alert here. Ah, oh, super you guys, chat. You guys are being very, very generous. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Awandi, thank yes. you for the 729. Let me know where you want those points to go, man. Let me know. We're playing hey, the points game. Mr. Keys out in Saudi Arabia. That's You see the de denomination beside the amount that he de donated? Yeah. That's where he's from, is out to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I remember him saying that he was uh, yeah. outside the States. Is it Saudi Arabia? I can't, I can't remember. Was that what it was? Maybe Dubai, Dubai or something like that. Uh, AEW. Yeah, what was that stand for? I remember he said it uh, not too long ago, and I, I can't remember what, where he said he was from. But thank you. That was very kind of you. Appreciate that over there. Awandi. Abu Dhabi. Yeah, there you go. He's got a good sense of humor. He's in Abu Dhabi. I like it, man. I like it. So now, Absolutely. Now when we go to Abu Dhabi, we got we to gotta link up with Awandi. Ah, <laughs> oh, super to give chat. Us a tour. Ride camels together. Points to two joints for being a Bobby Knuckles fan. Glad he has that fight, although not here in Oz. Be a cracker. <laughs> Thank you. Justin M just hooked you up two joints. There you go. Chur chur, Justin M. Chur chur. Now you got 30 points. Yeah, so, like, as soon as they made this fight, I didn't make a prediction on the upload, the announcement upload. Just kind of gave the reaction over there. And um, when, jeez, I'm hitting all the wrong scenes. Uh, when when this got announced and I was just letting it absorb in my mind, I'm with you two joints, man. I, I, I truly think, when I saw Bobby Knuckles at the plus money, I was like, damn, man. I like Hamza, you know? there's I, I know the benefit of Hamza winning this fight. I understand it, mm -hmm. and I kind of wouldn't mind it. I... I kind of hate, love and hate this fight because I like both guys for different reasons. You know, I don't want to see either guys guy lose here. Um, but w so, would you mind if Hamzat won this thing, or you really want Bobby to get it done? Well, I, I just think Hamzat's kind of kind of chilled down a little bit, Moss. Like he had a lot of su success those first couple of fights he had in the UFC. Like first round, easy piece of cake, and then you know uh, he almost knocks out Usman, then they goes to a decision like. I think he's kind of cooled off a bit. I think Bobby's got the advantage here and a little more experience too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I see in the chat, they're saying Hamza is going to smash and ragdoll. Damn, man. That seems wow. like a really casual take, to be honest. I mean, like, I would like to say you're correct, but you're, I mean, Paolo Costa had all sorts of trouble with, with Whitaker and Paolo cracked him in that first round. So Whitaker's chin is still there. The guy can grapple as well. This, this dude can wrestle. Um, and his striking is definitely more uh, high level than Hamzat, I would say, right? I mean, so Absolutely. I don't. Absolutely. I mean, I understand Hamzat's grappling; he's relentless. But you know, you get out of that first round, which is not a guaranteed lock, because we've seen Hamzat mull people in the first. But if you do get yep. past it, uh, Whitaker's got a good shot, and it's a five round fight, right? So I mean, yeah. I, I would ma imagine a five round fight would favor Whitaker, wouldn't you? Two joints. I mean, you. Well, you of course. I mean, maybe this. The, the very first round, Moss, he knows what Hamzat's all about. So he's not going to go for that first round KO or submission. Maybe he plays a little more defensive and then starts to, to tack it on in the second and the third and the fourth rounds. He's, yeah. uh, Hamzat isn't going to throw him down in the first and end it. There's no way. Costa doesn't grapple? Yes, he does. What do you mean? I mean, because you've seen him stand and bang doesn't mean he doesn't grapple. The dude, isn't he a black belt in jujitsu? Costa, I would imagine he is. I know he's pretty he's high level uh, grappling as well. Um... 
Yeah, I don't know. Coast is a big, scary dude. Like, I think Coast is very overrated, yes. But I got to be honest with you, at middleweight, I think Hamzat's overrated. At welterweight, I think Hamzat would have been champion for sure. For sure. If he can okay. hit that 170, 100%. I, I thought he beat Kamaru Usman at 170. Granted, he beat him away class up. Uh, but before that, I thought he could beat Usman. And I thought Hamzat was the welterweight guy. But he can't hit the weight. He moves up to 185. Um, and he's looked mortal, you know, I mean, he looks very mortal. So I, I don't know. It's interesting that people are saying that Hamza is just going to run over Whitaker. Now I understand DDP got it done in the second round. He clipped Whitaker. Um, man, once that gas, uh, we'll see what the cardio is like. Coast is yeah. underrated. Uh, he tested Whitaker on his last fight. Yeah, I think, um, I think he's overrated Costa. Well, now it's, I think people have come severely jumped off the train, but uh, he's kind of mid Costa at middleweight. You know, what do you think of Paolo? Two joints. You know what? I think he's just like another pretty boy, Luke Rockhold, which who is also going to be fighting in karate combat. Wouldn't that be cool if uh, after Sam Alvey heals up, they fucking square off. But I think Costa's on a little bit of a decline here too. You know what I mean? I just, I don't see him doing much. Like he's sure never going to be a champion. I mean, he'll just be a beefy opponent for the next guy. And fuck, that's pretty much about it. I never liked him. Yeah, never liked. Yeah, I was never a big fan of. I mean, although that that um, the Yoel Romero fight was phenomenal. Costa and Romero yeah. was really really good, and um, the Rockhold fight was fun to watch too. That was a fun fight, but he did have problems with Rockhold, and that's a not the same Luke Rockhold that was champion. You know, um, uh, that was smoking weed Rockhold, and Costa, you know, couldn't put him out. He couldn't take him out. You know, so um. Listen, Costa is what he is. I think, you know, when you look at a welterweight moving up, Costa could be a problem. I think Costa versus Chimaev was the fight to make. Like, that seemed like the fight. Um, but here we are in Saudi Arabia, and it's Whitaker. Whitaker just beat Costa. I know, uh, you know, that sounds like MMA math, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, think, I think Robert Whitaker does have the tools to get it done and get his hand raised. And when we look at the ages, too, uh, Whitaker's still only 33. It's kind of crazy. He's wow. only 33. Like, he's still pretty young considering it's 25-7-0, a former champion who's defended his belt multiple times, had injury problems. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of crazy. He's still, you know, decent. Like, you could still arguably say he's in his prime, Whitaker. Yeah. You know? Well, for Bobby Moss, all I'm going to say is the first round is the most important round of that of that fight coming up. He gets yeah. through the first the, the world is ocean or yeah. whatever. <laughs> so. The world is ocean. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and here's the thing. Like, we're speculating here with guess. It's a guessing game. Um, but value I'm looking at, if you're getting Whitaker plus money in this fight, I don't see how you can't take it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, yeah. Not, not saying Whitaker can't lose, but I don't know how you can't take that plus money. You know, I, mm. it's just dangling out there. Um, well, so, if he pulls it off and it's plus money, you might as well get paid for it, you know? <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, that, that would be nice. But either way, I think we win with whoever wins the fight. Um, uh, Hamzat might be a more bigger upside because of the possibility of him fighting for that title to say this is a number one contender fight. Whereas if Whitaker wins, um, you're running it back with DDP. Uh, if he beats Adesanya, if they're fighting, or then you do Adesanya Whitaker three. Uh, Whitaker, looks, I tell you what, Whitaker looked better in the second, way better in the second than the first with Izzy. Yeah. So maybe he's progressively going in the right direction to beat Adesanya. Who do you think wins yeah, in the th well, in the tr in the third fight? I would definitely, I would take Bobby Knuckles. Like you said, he's only thirty three. Maybe he hasn't even hit. Maybe he's just starting to hit his prime, Moss. Like watch him be the fucking champion in the next couple of years. Imagine he gets the you belt back. I mean? That'd be something. That really would. Yeah. I kind of, I'm rooting for him to get that belt back. Um. But yeah, let me know in the chat. What do you guys think? Who's going to win this fight? How are they going to win it? Is you know Whitaker in over his head? Is Hamzat overhyped? And listen, if Hamzat wins too, I'm not going to be upset because the the thought of Hamzat fighting for the uh, the middleweight title, I am I'm in. Like honestly, it's better for the channel if Hamzat wins. You know, <laughs> it's going to get way more juice if Hamzat wins that fight. D rest coming in again. Go to six. On, get loud and the holes in the crowd. Come on, get loud and the holes in the crowd. And the may holes in the crowd. And the may holes in the crowd. Let's go D rest. And the may holes in the crowd.
crowd. T Rex trying to get me that pillow. He's trying to get it. Shut the hell up, points, Mose. Thank you, thank you. Shut the hell up, Rob Boy. Drop a few points, Karen. This is where you jag off. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Look at that. All right, two joints. You got you got a tough one. Tough hill to climb over here. 69 points for the Mystic. Two joints at 30. Conrad is still in the game because he won actually two weeks in a row. And he's sitting there in the game. And we have a bunch of empty spots if you want to get in. $5 to enter. Uh, the most points wins and spins the Fuqua Friday wheel. If you do have 20 points next to your name, you could even be a co-host. And we can shoot the shit uh, with the community. Oh, where's two joints' his head? And uh, I would love to have more co-hosts tonight for sure. You know, bring it in. Oh, well, Moss, you must be getting fucking bored of me, bored of me by now. I told you all my tragic stories, my my funny ones. I mean, I'm running out of shit here, dude. I'm gonna have to take a week or two off. You know, I'm telling you, two joints. We're gonna be forced to talk about fights. You know, because we're gonna run out of stories. Well, speaking of fights, uh, I would like us to focus a little more on the task at hand, Moss. The, my last tapology, I won one fight. I one? almost got skunked. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even kidding around. Yeah, I had a bad week too, but why? so what was it? There was like 13 on the card, right? Yeah, Canada went one for 12. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Now think about it. Like, that's not easy to do, right? Because if you reverse yeah. it, I mean, you're 12 and one, right? So that's not easy to pull that off. That's actually pretty impressive. Well, what's not impressive is actually uh, admitting to it in front of 185 uh, fine people in the chat right now. But I'm a man. I can take it on the chin when I have to. And uh, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to do better. I tell you what, if you get that many wrong, I actually look at it as a pretty solid thing. Like if you get like every fight wrong or or just one right, I mean, think about it. That's that's so not easy to do. Like that's like it's like shooting a basketball and hitting the pole. You know, like like yeah. just hit, like instead of hitting. You're hitting that. You're hitting that pole instead of hitting that fucking hoop. You know, getting inside the uh, the netting. Um, probably not like that. No, it's probably even harder to do what you did two joints. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But you know what? Karma's a, uh, quite a thing. Watch me win it all, fucking tomorrow, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> might. Yeah. All of it. The luck's gonna go the other way, and uh, you're gonna fucking win goat milk. Yeah, we'll see. There's more fights on this. Um, Abu Dhabi card that they threw together. By the way, what do you think about Blanchfield? And, uh, you know, I, I caught a couple of comments about the Fioro Blanchfield poll that we put up. Go vote on that poll over there. You may not recognize them, but over here, here they are. What are your thoughts on the main event tomorrow? Ugh, t Moss, it's going to be a good fight. I know everybody in the chat is going to go, oh, fucking Canada, you're a simp. You're looking. No, these are two good female fighters. Like, there's not a lot of good fighters that actually meet up anymore, Moss. You know, like sometimes it happens. But I like the way this one's shaping up. You know what I mean? Well, I feel if Blanchfield wins, it's going to be a pretty solid main event. If Blanchfield loses and Fioro gets away and there's like five rounds of nonsense, then um, it's going to be a shit fight. So we got a 50-50 chance here, two joints. If, if Blanchfield gets her arm raised, we should probably have a good fight. If Fioro gets her arm raised, she played safe and she outpointed her. That's, that's where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> Let me know It'll in the chat. Fight. I mean... I'm thinking. I'm thinking this Mano chick. I mean, she's had some real flashes of really hurting chicks, like not playing the usual tit for tat on the on the ropes and making it last for a decision. She's mm -hmm. out to fucking hurt people, man. So I, I think I'm taking her. You know, not a bad bet. I, she's the underdog, I believe. Right? She is. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Moss over the last three fight cards, like the unders have 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 taken over. Yeah, like the unders, they're just they're out of the roof, man. Like, I mean, I can't believe some of those fucking cards. <laughs> yeah, she's you know? well. Here's here's a, a a thing, an alarming thing here that I didn't notice until now. So uh, Blanchfield is, we know she's young, she's twenty four, but Fiero's thirty four years of age. I didn't realize she was that old. I had I had no idea, but she's on some run. She's eleven one and zero. Is it because she's French? Two joints. Is that why we're going with this one? Oh. I don't know. Maybe she just had some real top-notch training, you know, and she's got a good head, head on her shoulders. Like, she's not an OnlyFans. She's not on Twitter talking shit all the time. She just focuses in on what her job is and maybe has a family, and, you know, that's the way it goes. You know? I, Life's easy when you can stay on a straight fucking path. <laughs> yeah. Here I am smoking weed saying that. but That is true. Um, You know, you look at her path. It was pretty rough, right? She had Rose, Thug Rose. She beat her by the unanimous decision. Uh, Caitlin... Uh, I want to say Chukagian, but it's Ceramina, Ceraminara, Cerebral Palsy. Ceremony, yeah. Ceremony. <laughs> Cerebaloni. 
Uh, but she beat her unanimous decision, who she's a decision machine. Jennifer Maya, that top three is pretty tough. Uh, bueno yeah. Silva, Tabitha Ricci with the beautiful ass. I mean, that's a pretty that's a pretty solid resume of female fighters. And then you got Erin Blanchfield, who beat uh, t- beat Tyler, Tyler Santos, uh, Jessica Andrade, Molly Meatball, JJ Aldrich, uh, Miranda Maverick. I tell you what, level of competition I would say is a little bit, a little more steep for Fioro. Um, but Blanchfield beat some notable. She has some notable wins there. This is a really good matchup, but I will say this. As much as it could be a solid fight, I don't think it should be the main event, two joints. Well, it, it shouldn't be. Like, I mean, uh, nothing against the seven percenters, but I mean, like like Strickland said, you want to see Lions fight, you know, not, you know, but I don't want to be that, I don't want to be that guy to say it, but if the girls in our chat are woman enough to accept it, yeah, I mean, they're probably not crazy about it being a main event either. Ask Annie and fucking that one girl. Yeah, yeah. Nicole Wilson, ask all of them. Yeah, even Jesse, she's not a big fan of the female fights, but I, listen, I'm not saying this fight's going to be dog shit. Like I said before, if Blanchfield gets her hand raised, chances are we're going to see a good scrap. If Fioro gets her hand raised, I think it's going to be kind of boring. I, 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 that's where I'm going with that. But um, the co-main event, way more exciting with Vicente Luque versus Buckley. Buckley's on some roll, and there's a video of Joaquim. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Let's see. I think it's Newman, his name. Hello, Newman. Joaquim Buckley. Here he is. I got to say this. He's very cringy, right? Very cringy guy on his social media. But he seems like a good dude. He actually seems like a good dude. Like, he's just a corny mofo. What was he putting things of Guru on here? Let's see what this is. Wrote a book. Man, Guru's getting play everywhere. My man is exploding. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Well, it didn't help that he and Gary's wife took the bait and just fucking gave him the huge shout out. Like, I mean... Even you said that, Moss. It's like if she wouldn't have fucking said a word, he wouldn't have got an extra hundred thousand fucking views. From, from <laughs> oh, like he's he's playing that fantastic. He, he's he's doing a fantastic yeah. job over there. No, you no. Know, I used to have, I used to have a bit of a beef with him, but I mean, we all have to grow up and be mature. And you know what? We're doing awesome, and he's doing what he's doing. So, yeah. You know no, he's I mean? actually a solid dude. I've spoken to him before. He's actually not a bad guy. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy seeing him all over the place. Uh, what was I gonna say? You you know what's funny? <laughs> this is pretty funny. I was uh. I was looking at my demographic, like, you know, occasionally I, I look at the analytics of the channel and, Uh-oh. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, okay, let's, let's see what we got going on over here. Right. And this one was kind of a staggering thing, which I'm actually pretty happy about. Um, 1% of our community for the last 28 days is 17 and under 1%. Wow. That is like mighty low, right? Like we have no kids. At all, we are an adult show. I'm very happy about that, but it's kind of well. You'd have to admit, a couple of years ago, Moss, we were running a bit of a fucking orphanage here. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, we are not. We are, we are an adult show. As as goofy and ridiculous as we are over here on the MMA holes, I am proud to say only one percent, seventeen and under, one percent. Well, Moss, like a true genius that you are, there is a fucking description in the uh, intro. You know, don't take anything seriously, too uncomfortably attractive hosts, and all that shit. So yeah. people, they don't read that, and they just start watching. It is what it is. Now, uh, Jamie says he's 17, so you're on the bubble right over there. And if anyone slipped through the cracks, let me know if you slipped. Our, the meat of our show is right where I want it, right? It's, it's, it's from uh, 18 through, like, 35, is like that's that's our meat of our audience and boom that's that's a demographic I would love to target so I'm I'm happy about that but on the other side of it if you want to go viral if you want to do the meme stuff and if you want to have your channel explode you need the kids you definitely need the kids over there so that is interesting and I was talking to Jesse about that I'm like okay I see how that works but we are a complete grown up show over here and I'm very proud of that. Who who knew we would uh, you know, I thought I would completely sell out and be a complete kitty show, but here we are Chris, almost 8 I, years in. And just another quick thing, we're men here. We're not selling out to fucking pottery classes. We're not getting perms. <laughs> uh we're not telling neighbors animals they're cute and adorable. Like uh, we got to start stiffening up here a bit, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you going on about? Um it's all good. Okay, so I want to show this video. There's a very wholesome video of Joaquin Buckley 
um, signing some autographs. I don't know if you saw this, but it was it was a very actually. You know what? I think Anatomy of a Fighter posted it. Let me see. Let me pull this up. While I pull this up, let's see. We got an alert. Oh, I like this one. Your favorite fighter is overrated. Your predictions are overrated. WMMA is overrated. Anal sex is overrated. That post fight flex is overrated. Ariel Hawani overrated. That comment in the chat is overrated. That ass is so flat. It's overrated. overrated. Let's go, Sonosi. Overrated. 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 That YouTube channel is overrated. The MMA hole is not overrated. Oh. Thank you, Sonosi. All I can toss. Maybe I co-host. Maybe I don't. Women MMA should never main event. Points me and enjoy the dollar. Thank you. Thank you, Sonosi. Appreciate you. Very much. Okay, let's get Sonosi the points. Over here. You know what I'm going to do? Sonosi has been a very... So I'm going to bypass the, the five, of course. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put 12 points next there. If anyone wants to get Sonosi on the program... Give him some love. Give him some help. Here's Sonosi. Thank you so much, Sonosi. I appreciate that. And Sonosi's going to UFC 300 two joints. How exciting is wow, that? Wow, man. That's pretty cool. I mean, holy shit. That's a once in a lifetime, you know, because that's a major event. So yeah. I wish him the best and I hope he has a good time. Yeah, guys, let's get uh, Sonosi eight more points. Get him as a co host and let's hear. We want to hear the plan of Sonosi going to UFC 300. What's going to go right. down? We'll find out over there. Maybe we'll have him like live stream from the, the Vegas Strip with some hookers or something. Oh, uh, from the Asian mist. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Let's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just did my taxes today. Well, my business taxes. Ooh, two joints. How is Boss. it? How is the taxes over there in Canada? Are they brutal. They're about to get really. I'm not even making this up. So April first, they're trying to push something called a carbon tax. And they're going to add 23% to the fuel and all these other things, which is translated in the cost is passed on to the people that buy groceries and go to the gas station. So it's going to get fucking messy here in the next little bit in Canada. So, but it's all for this uh, fantasy land climate change, Moss. The shit we're just going to fix overnight and just, it's just ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Good grief. Yeah, it's annoying. Like today, man. It was a dollar. Today, the gas was a dollar 67 a liter in this tourist town that I live in. So you translate that times four, boom. That's what, you know, isn't that ridiculous? Yeah, it's an, man, I, I I vomited today when we picked up the packet and I saw what we had to pay. I was like, God damn it, man. It's crazy, man. I, I hope it's worth it, tax, man. But thank you for the donations. That will go towards our tax. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. You know, maybe I'm just going to do, I don't know, maybe I just won't pay taxes and then go to jail. What do you think, Two Joints? Should I just do that? Well, What's the difference between New York and Arizona? The taxes a little, they must be a little oh, bit lighter. In, way better in Arizona. in Arizona. And they still suck. Like, well, the business thing sucks. But if I was in New York, I probably would have had to shut everything down. I would have yeah. had to shut everything down if I was still in New York. But here, I wonder yeah. if, you, I I wonder if the obese neighbor still lives there, Moss. I'm sure she misses you badly. The obese neighbor in New York? Yeah. New York, yeah. The, the oh, ones that fuck. live beside you and Jesse. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me think. There was an old couple next to us. Uh, the obese one. Why am I drawing a blank? I probably told an obese story and I can't remember. Huh. I don't know. It, it's true, man. Like, I mean, this is from four years ago, Moss. It's okay. You, 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 you <laughs> yeah. It's, isn't it crazy? I've been in Arizona for like four years. Dude, that's nuts. Yeah, it is kind of crazy when you think about it, man. That went you fast. And Jesse loaded up, you and Jesse loaded up that fucking car and you, you drove from New York to Arizona, man. And it was a great series <laughs> to watch. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. I can't believe it that that much time has passed. Like it's it feels like yesterday we were just in New York. It's really crazy. And you got two kids now. Don't forget that. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, man, today I had a beautiful like you know, as much as you know, my head was in the clouds and whatever was going on, uh Ellie was like the 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 sunshine of the day. She's such a God, she's such a ray of light, this kid, man. So, so fucking lucky. This kid absolutely so lucky. And my son, like uh, completely blessed. So if I complain just ignore me. Just ignore me. Here's uh, Joaquin Buckley. Here's a big wholesome moment over here. Two joints. I don't know if you saw this. I'm on the poster. I told you. <laughs> I'm on the poster. I told you. Now you got to sign it, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even see it. Oh, that's lit. 
That's lit. That's lit. Like, how fucking cool is that? Right? He's in the co-main event. He slid in to fight Vicente Luque. Like, this man's going to war with a savage. Right? And he's just sitting there like, I'm on the poster. Let's go. You know, that's fucking yeah. cool. Well, that's a pretty honest, organic answer, man. Like, I mean, he's humbled, and I think he might just knock the shit out of this fucking Luke a guy. You know what I mean? I kind of want him to win now. Nothing against Luke. A. Luke is like a, he's a G man, and he's a super nice guy. Like how he even handled yeah. the, the Ian Gary situation, super nice. But I don't know. I kind of want. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I'm, I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna pick Buckley. Are you gonna pick Buckley? I think I am. Like this is just extra energy. Like I mean, I know it seems something kind of incidental, but. As far as my picks goes, I mean, I've got to come up with a different strategy. I'm going to take this buck. He's going to knock him out in the second round. Wow. Fucking okay. Idiot. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Um, we can get, to, get your... to the ground with this Luke a, though, because that's where he, he makes his money, right? Like the grappling and stuff like that. And guys I'm in the good. chat, we're going to be making predictions at the end. After the points game is done, we're going to do the predictions for the entire UFC Atlantic City card. Right now, points game in effect. If you want to drop a donation, hit the Streamlabs or the Super Chat to support the program. Right. Make sure you say points to a specific player. The person with the most points wins and spins. Uh, let's play the rest of this over here. Pretty cool Man, stuff. We got to make this official now. Oh. Man, what you talking about? Huh? Huh? What you talking about? I know. Damn, I, thought I, had, I thought I had more time to practice my signature. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. All right, this is lit, baby. <laughs> Mm, yeah, Did he just yeah. burp? Was that you two joints or was that Buckley? I Paul, honestly, Moss, I'm not trying to screw around. Sorry, that was my fault. It's oh. Gerd. I am Gerd. <laughs> I it was, oh, okay, you should just blame Buckley. It would have been funnier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's not much. It's, I mean, this is kind of weird because Buckley's got a bunch of fights in the UFC. He's got that highlight reel knock, knockout of Impa Kasangane. And here he is, co-main event, Atlantic City. By the way, I'm very happy that this is in Atlantic City. I'm jealous. Anyone in the chat going to this thing, very jealous of you guys because that's going to be such a fun event. Atlantic City is a great place to hang out and party. Um, Borgata is fantastic. And uh, the fact that the UFC is back over there is, is good stuff. Dang time. Man, what should, we, what should I sign, y'all? Like, like, what a spot, though. What a spot, like, Look at like right in that corner, right in that pocket. You can't sign on his face. It's just, it's just, it's completely genuine. You know, there's nothing forced here. He's just like a everyday guy. And and this is what I wish we saw more from UFC fighters. Like Mike Davis is kind of like this, down to earth. Doesn't let like you know some some of these fighters are just fantastic human beings. Never let any of the fame, the hype, the social media push get to their heads. You know, and, and when you see Buckley like this, it makes you become more of a fan. It's a shame not every athlete was like this, you know? Yeah. yeah we're just so, everybody's so different, right? And especially when you get to that level of semi-fame and you got a little bit of money in your bank, like a lot, it can change people. But yeah. he's a humble guy, like you said, Moss, so wish him the best. I mean. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of funny, too. Like, um, speaking of Beast Boy, Mike Davis over here, he put out this tweet and we did a little bit of a retweet of it um speaking on that i don't know who he was talking about here but he says people are wild these days they get a few likes and start acting different right i mean that's pretty true a lot of people a little fame little you know a little extra uh publicity or fan bigger fan base uh, an inflated you know social media account and next thing you know they think they're you know god's gift I try to, like, honestly, I try to respond to everyone. And we got a small little YouTube channel. And I'm sure if you have a massive, you know, audience, it's, it's tricky to, to respond to everyone. But I still feel the need to, like, heart people's comments and, and comment on in the comment section. You know, like, I just feel, I don't know if it's guilt or, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. But I feel, like, so happy that people even want to engage with my stuff that I have to constantly stay as interactive as possible. Would you ever let it get to your head? Absolutely not, Moss. I think what you're doing is probably the right way to do it. It's a little, it's a lot of extra work, but at the same time, you, you remember those names and you remember what they said, you know, and it, it sounds silly, but I think it's just a little bit more being interactive with your, your viewers and stuff like that. And there's nothing wrong with it. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I mean, I feel like we're in a different era now with the, with the social media influencers and YouTube channels and whatever you're excelling at. I mean, I feel like you're just building a family, you know, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. But anyway, we got some alerts over here. Let's play them. I fell off a shopping cart. With the 15. I barely fucking hurt so much. Ninja choke. My muscular ass is sore. 
lit up my many bar. I fell up my shopping cart. It really fucking hurt so much. My muscular ass is sore. I like to beat up girls with ease. Oh, look at this. With ease. Ouch. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Ninja. Tax season. Thank you. Go, Sonosai, go. Go, Sonosai, go. Come on, Sonosi. Get, get, get the link, baby. Hell yeah. Hey, two joints. We're going to have another co-host. Well, I'm sure the, the viewers and, uh, you know, they'll probably appreciate another uh, uh, professional opinion on things here. So, I mean, I'm all for it. Sonosi's an OG. Let's go. Get everyone Let's involved go. in this here. Let's have a bunch of co-hosts. Let's have some fun tonight. I mean, we laughed our asses off in the last stream. Let's have a good time again tonight. Sonosi has himself, this is my hockey number, actually, 27 points for <laughs> Sonosi. Well, th that gaming stream was absolutely amazing. Uh, there was a bunch of chatters that were on fire. They just couldn't, the only thing that came out of their fucking mouths was just complete humor, and it was just hilarious, bro. Like, Which that one? was a great stream last Which stream? Night. Oh, uh, the Fuga Friday? Yeah. yeah, you, you were know. too you were too fried to hear to see half the comments, but everybody was funny as hell last <laughs> night. Billy Baru and uh, everybody, man. So uh, on Gummy Gang, you're saying? <laughs> yeah, Gummy Gang. Oh, bro. okay. Yeah, but yeah. Work with me, Moss. Work with me. Yeah, I don't know. I thought you were talking about Fuka Friday. I left the last Fuka Friday up. I left it up because it was hilarious. Um, but um, the uh, Gummy Gang, yeah, man. Like when we play the Hell Divers, I feel bad that we're not talking to the chat. But you guys are all like entertaining yourself, so I don't feel so bad anymore. This is, you know, oh, yeah. just hanging out and having a good time. So, yeah. dude, and Pale Monkey went nuts last night on the on the gifts and everything. That was fucking cool. Well, I'd like to know who we can speak to about number one, Sober Carl and Freedom Guy 1776 getting their fucking, their membership, man, because that's just insane. Yeah. You know, I don't know what's wrong with that situation, but. Guys, go on YouTube and check out the settings. Make sure you have it enabled for gifting, G getting enabled. Oh, getting Wait, does a sober Carl in the, is he in this chat right now? Does he have a membership in this chat? Uh, oh, I see Savage Depp. What's going on, man? Uh, Conrad, how's it going, bud? We got you. You're still in the game over here, baby. You might you might be the three. You might get the three, Pete. We got more alerts. Let's play him. Yeah, it's probably a setting that he's gotta enable. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Hello Christopher, I don't want UFC spreading misinformation and disinformation. Love the MMA holes. <laughs> Thank you, I love you Trudeau. You're such a great human being. Thank you for the two dollars. Thank you. Fuck Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it in the chat. The mighty one. In the 1975. Watch out, here he comes with the red friend, heart soul of the holes, Mrs. Silly Girlfriend. Time out, trolls. Welcome to the dead end cock, so big that you can't even comprehend. Bust and groan, making bitches moan on the timestamp drone while the chat moves stone. Hold up, save the show for the tale will be told about Michael and alone. The greatest. Shut your moo pointies, MOS. Yeah, D-Rest, let's go. Is it the shirt, D-Rest? Is it the shirt? Thank you so much. Appreciate you very much so. Trying to get me that spin. You the man, dog. All right, so here we go. Let's go 89 points. Wow. Oh, I'm going to be a tough person to beat tonight. Where, where's Sonosi? Uh, I think he's in the waiting room here. Hold on a second. Thank you, KC, for gifting... The membership, KC, thank you so much. Thank you, KC. You the man, dog. Thank you. Who got that membership in the chat? KC's gifting it. You guys are on fire. You must be hyped up for UFC Atlantic City. And if you are, drop me a wonderful, 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 wonderful in the chat right now. And we have a special guest. Yeah. 
great song. Sassy has all the best. Snake Man done it again. Sassy has all the best. <laughs> Give me all the belts. Because I'm SSS on a sheet. And I have all the belts. Hey, Sanosi. What's up? <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face. I gotta try. <laughs> you gotta stay with the straight face. Me. It's like, fuck. Um, Sanosi, I was thinking about this. I like the High Score King song, but I was even thinking of changing your $25 dono to that song. Would you be cool with that? I will cut you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying keep the song? You don't want that song? Hell no. Okay, all right. I thought it'd be hilarious if everyone. Plus that, plus that song is only gonna survive till this year, cause I'm like, it's gonna be the last time I hear the song this year. So keep it while we still have it. This is forever. Yeah. Could you imagine That's... every time someone dropped that donation and that song played every time? I don't need it. <laughs> Listen, it, it, we'll keep it as my forever song. Keep, uh... Let the twenty-five dollars song be cherished while I still have it. I mean, it's okay. bad enough that Lachatia is dead forever. Mine's gonna be dead forever by the end of this year. So yeah, what happened to the Hearns? What happened? Is he gone? Is that it? Oh, baseball started. He's just, he's doing his thing. Oh, is, is that it? Oh, that's right. Yeah. The Mets are starting soon. Dodgers. Yeah. Oh. These passes hit like around February. Gotcha. Okay. And he's been, you know, busy life and shit. I get it. Oh, super chat. We got a super duper chat from Normal. This Google. is for Sinosai to join. Go Sinosai, go. Look at that. So Normal oh. is overrated. He's hooking you up, Sinosi. What's the big oh, sure? It's, it's probably because I haven't been here for so long. Yeah, so it has been a minute here. So here we go. You get it. This way you don't, you know, in case someone tries to play games with you, so you know. I mean, if they do, they do. Whatever. Yeah, well. I got I, I got shit. I can, I, listen, I can go to Hell Divers if worst case scenario. Don't. You, guys back, huh? <laughs> you're gonna, you know what's going to happen now, right? <laughs> oh, I know. If it happens, it happens. Just, just, you know, just say, hey, no, no, guys. Hey, hey, be nice. Be nice, you know. Because you know no, what's going to happen. I'm not, I'm not going to be nice. I If people do it, they do it. I don't care. Oh boy! Oh, here we go, Sinosi. Oh, Sinosi. He... I'm just listen. I'm I'm tempting the gods. I know if it happens, hey, listen. I'm just trying. I just came in bigger. You guys wanted someone to just two joints for one night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm totally I'm totally with Sinosi. Like I'm sure everybody's like was like what the fuck, Moss? Like, but no, oh, it's all good, man. We, we, no, no, no. We, I mean, like, at least when you have another person, it's another person. But you know. I mean, it's I mean, it's just the same way where everyone's like, "Oh, great, it's just it's just Moss all the time." They love it when when Jesse comes in. You see the applause everyone gets. Like, oh my God, please stay. <laughs> oh boy, Sonosi, you're digging you're digging your grave here. How dare you? Um, I know. So, what do you think? We well, now that you're here, what do you think about Whitaker versus um, Comzat? Whitaker all day. I'm with you, right? And the plus, getting plus money on it too, right? Oh, I will, even if he wasn't the plus money, I am sick of Shemayev. Oh, you're sick of? Ch oh, okay. Oh, this is the, oh boy. Now, guys, in the chat, if you're watching the replay or if you're in the live chat right now, what Sinosi says is his opinion and his opinion only. Okay, so do not fry me for it. I like Hamzat, but let's hear what Sinosi has to say. I don't hate the individual. I like how he fights. Everything else. My big issue is a couple. I feel like ever since a certain point he's gotten to, now we barely see him fight. So that's my first complaint. But you like know why that is, though. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold your thought. You know why that is, right? Hmm. It's it's probably because he can't fight in the states. Now I, I think it's I think that question's been answered. Yeah, that that's a, I that was I was about to mention that like that's another part that annoys me is the fact that he is so limited now because of what he's friends with a dictator or some shit. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. And like. Fuck. Yeah, that, that's a slight issue. <laughs> so, when, when, yeah. What, 75 percent of your events are in the U.S., that's going to gank you. Mm -hmm. Well, now we know we'll never see Hamza at the apex. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Shemaev might not be a big star, but he's a big enough star where you would never put him in a fight night in an apex. You put him with a live crowd. Yeah, I know. It's a joke, Sanosi, for God's sakes. I'm bad, I'm bad at reading jokes. That's all right. That's no, right. Um, but no. Shamayev, like I said, that kills me. I think that, I mean, that's part of the reason I know it, but it's just, he's had such close calls when his last couple of fights. He's not that invincible guy we've seen anymore. Mm -hmm. He's been, He was, ex listen, Burns exposed him. Usman was getting back halfway through the fight. 
You think he's going to survive five rounds and Whitaker can, can survive the first two rounds? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I agree with you. I agree with that statement because, like, Robert Whitaker is, like, people are saying Hamzat's just going to run him over. I mean, yo, chill. It's not impossible. Not, like, nothing's impossible anymore. I'll, I'm willing to entertain everything. But to just confidently just throw it out there like that, I mean, I, I feel like what information we working with that this is going to happen because he beat Mearshart. <laughs> and here's another factor that people got to realize too, though. Is that it? This is the highest level of competition he's facing in middleweight. Exactly. Yeah. This Although, is no longer a welterweight inflict. Girl, let's be honest though. Usman is a is a fucking middleweight. Yeah. Well, Whitaker was, in fairness. I mean, he will never be able to hit it again. But you yeah, know, he was. So he's not facing any of these. He's not facing any huge. People that would, you know, any, I mean, if I fucking look at the division, there's only a couple of people like, Shem, I'm not sure, if like people like Costa or Pereira who are actually like heavyweights walking as middleweights. He's facing actual legit middleweights or heavy, big welterweights. So that's probably not too much of a problem. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be oversized by anybody. I, I tell you what, this this matchup is I think is fascinating. And I, I love that people are saying Hamza's going to smash. In fact, let me, you know what, let me put a poll Let's drop a poll here. Hey, it's Tony Silo. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Oh, I got to put this. Hold on a second. Here. Give me a sec. Good to see you, Tony Silo. Welcome to the show. Uh, it's you, Josh. Welcome to the show, Sonosi. Sorry, I, I didn't say welcome when you first showed up here. I, I was busy enjoying your theme song, but uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome. It's fine. Give me, MFY, I see the donations. Give me negative two points. I'm not wearing no fucking wig. <laughs> <laughs> You sure, Sadosi? Come on, man. You got it. You, no, I think the I wig needs to make like a comeback. It. I don't have. I don't have the energy to go hunt down the wig. I haven't wore that wig in like six months. I'm not going to look for it. I know. I was gonna go somewhere. Shit, I got sidetracked because I'm like, oh shit, I didn't put in for monetization, so I did that. What were we talking? Were we talking about Whitaker? Were we talking about Shemaev? I was. We're gonna... talking about. We're talking also about Shemaev and how the whole everyone's giving him the winner ready. Yeah. Oh, oh, a poll. That's what I was gonna do. I'm like, what was poll. I? Oh, okay. What was I gonna do? I well, completely forgot. Well, while you do, well, while you're doing that poll, I do find the fact that they're trying to wedge him. Up. I mean, they're doing the same thing they just tried to do with Benoit Saint Denis. Of here, here's a top five person. Please get the ranking. I mean, they did that. They did the same thing with Burns. They really keep trying to move this man up. Yeah, I think I think they're frustrated with uh, Chimaev not being able to fight in the states and and. You know, this guy was fighting like every other weekend. Now all of a sudden he's not. He's either sick or is uh, there's another reason why. So I think they're just like, fuck it. Let's just throw him to the wolves, no pun intended, and see where it goes. They have so many prospects now, like from the Contender Series and everything like that. You notice they've been a little bit more uh, God, risky the with their matchups. They're even throwing no. prospects against each other these days. Like Talbot. I saw that. Right? Like last, I was surprised with the Talbot fight that like, wow i mean i think every card has had at least two pros two huge prospects fighting now they but they're still not willing to risk too much yet they used to never really do that you used to be like wait wait you know and and like like shavkat and hamzat they made sure they didn't come near each other those two you know like they used right. to do that a lot now it's like ah fuck it we have the contender series if one if, if one crashes and burns we'll just make a new one you know it seems like that's where they're going now you know what though I, there is a part of me that hopes Shemaev loses for one reason only. So that way when, when um what's his face? Bull Nickel wins, he has a justification to go for Shemaev because he's ranked 11 right now. Who's 11? Shemaev. Oh, I think you said Nickel was. I'm like, wait, what? No, no, <laughs> Bull Nickel has no ranking. Like, what, what I'm saying is if you give him a justification for someone ranked wise, Shemaev is only ranked 11. You can give him that fight. Gotcha. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, well, yeah, Chamayev losing this, you're right. There there are matchups that you can throw together that totally makes sense. Um, maybe Chamayev. I, I really wish Chamayev could cut and make that welterweight and just do enough to get the belt and then bounce, you know? I think that was the original plan, but it seems like that's that ship has sailed. Uh, I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. I think he is more – I think middleweight is actually more of a problem for him than welterweight would be. I think he could still go through welterweight – for most of the people, oh, except yeah. for maybe Shavkat. Shavkat's the only one. He would kill Bilal. He'd, well, he fought through... I mean, Usman did great, all things considered. I think Edwards would get would get mauled. I tell you what. Um, 
Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think Edwards. Well, I mean, I tell. I you know what? I feel like I gotta give Edwards a little bit more respect. You know, like there's it, something. It's about- hard. It's hard. It's hard for me. That, I don't hate Edwards either. It's just that I haven't seen enough of me that just. I mean, he did great against Uman in the in the rematch, but the problem is. We started seeing the effects of Usman's knees and everything really hit that rematch, that third fight. Yeah, like I, like he lost all that confidence getting KO'd or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, I'm I'm not a fan of Edwards at all. I'm not a. I don't know. I, I just can't oh, wow. get on board with Edwards. He seems like a nice guy, but I I don't know. Like I don't care when he fights. I, when he's interviewed, I'm bored out of my mind. Like there's nothing, but I respect him. I do respect what he has done, and um, you know, he shut up Colby Covington. He fucking took out. Uh, Usman, uh, twice he yeah. beat him to redeem himself. I mean, you know, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's great. No, I'm not saying I have no respect for him. I definitely respect him as an athlete. The fact that he clutched back, uh, basically did a hair Mary as if NFL terms for that win. Like, who expects you with one minute left, losing four rounds almost, to basically head kick yourself to a victory? I tell you, it's re- we were robbed not seeing. Edwards versus Hamzat. We were robbed. Like, that was sweet. Like, it seemed weird at the time, but that was almost going to happen. Like, very close to being put together, and then all of a sudden, no no fight. If that fight would have happened, holy shit, man. That would have been... Th- everything might have been different. Yeah. You know? I th- I think they're trying to fast-track um, Ian Gary to face Edwards personally, as much as I hate the man. Well, well and now... Not you- hate, I guess it's a strong word. Dislike. Mm- you got MVP lurking too now, and he's like, he's in the UFC's good graces, and and oh, I want that fight. I really want that fight before. Listen, I listen. They give. I've seen fights like L, who was ranked 11, who got a, a title fight, or Henderson against Bisping. Justify MVP. Give him Leon Edwards with one more win. I just want to see it. That's just what they want. It'd be, a kick, it'd be a kickboxing spectacle. They, they have so many backup plans now. Like, Ian Gary, I'm sure they want to fight for the title, but Ian's willing to wait, right? Like, he wants to keep going up, but he's willing to climb that ladder. Whereas MVP, you give him a path, he will slide right in there and try to fight Leon Edwards. And the UFC would gobble that up. Two British guys going at it, you know. Um, I oh, they could do the stadium, um, Wib- Wibbly Stadium or whatever it's called in the UK. They could probably justify it with those two. You think those two could fill Wembley? I don't think so. If you, I mean, two, two, the fact that it's two British fighters, possibly. I didn't say it'd be a great idea. I yeah. mean, I mean, that would be how nuts. well with Tyson Fury, but it's always a chance you could. They got, they got to take some more chances, and they haven't done that lately with arenas. Yeah, I, I the way the mumble, the marble mouth of as I stumble, uh, marble mouth of Leon Edwards. I, I don't know how he can sell that now. Now, MVP, yeah, he's all right. He, he's got a, he's not too bad on the mic. He's okay. But um, but then again, but what I'm going to say is like this uh, this soccer stadium it might hold sixty or seventy thousand people, right? Like, am I am I wrong or what? Like, I, mean, I think more than that. Yeah, it's like, like ninety thousand. Yeah, wow. It's Could you imagine a UFC fight with ninety thousand fans, Moss? The Let's problem see. is they they are they are they are too afraid to pull the trigger. It's one of the reasons why the whole South Africa thing is basically fallen out because they only have arenas too small or too large. If you're going to get a Wembley or something like that, it's got to be like a Connor or some shit. You need like a out of this world personality, you know? Um, you know what if I would do it if they can get him? If you can get Asphodel to face John Jones in the UK, I think you can maybe pull it off. John uh, Jones, yeah. Aspinall? Yeah. yeah. You have I think a better you can shot. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I think it's a chance. And well, you stack that card with Leon Edwards as the co main? Yes. Yeah, Leon versus like Leon versus MVP and and Jones versus Aspinall. Okay, now we're talking about something there. Yeah, I think that's the best chance you have. Something the two. I mean, they have two champions. I already mentioned. I think they, they're going to make that a number card. They mentioned. They said they weren't, but I think now they're changing their mind that they're going to make that pay per view because they realize, well, shit, we got to give. I think they'll save an Aspinall for um, gone. Because who else? They they haven't mentioned who he's going to face next. Yeah. By the way, I, uh, Conrad, I saw you DM. Now, Conrad, you are in the game, but to be a co-host, you need 20 points next to the name. Okay? That is very important. So if you want to help Conrad get on the show again two weeks in a row, got to get the 20 points next to the Rad. We're going to call him Rad. I'll be his nickname, right. Mr. Rad. Um, see you, Rad. <laughs> see if he can uh, hit the uh, – be a three-peat for Conrad over here. All right. So All right. let me know in the chat what you guys think. Uh, we have the poll up. 
Get your votes in. Who wins? Hamzat versus Whitaker. And 55% so far. Hamzat That's about, accurate. That's about accurate. It's not too sta- unstable. Yeah, it goes with the plus and minus. I don't understand. I don't understand, guys. I, I got to be honest with you. Like, I like Hamzat. I wouldn't mind Hamzat winning, but I do like Robert Whitaker as well. I don't know what we're... What did we see that Hamzat's going to beat Whitaker? I mean, the obvious is the wrestling, but again, that's against two rounds. Though? Yes. Huh? Against who? Oh, Shemaev's wrestling against Whitaker. Like, no, I'm saying, what, what was Shemaev's best win where you're like, okay, he can... Oh. You know? Like, I, I don't know what, what I mean, evidence you mean, we have. You mean dominating? Kevin Holland. So, yeah, yeah, Holland like, if, you're about, if you're talking about dominating win, it's Holland. If you're yeah. talking about... So that's just two things. Wins, I mean, he has two victories against two really good people. The problem is both of those fights were not the best performances of his after the halfway point. Yeah, and, and also he missed weight, right? And let's be honest, Holland is good, but not elite. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, we just saw, I mean, we just saw what MVP did to him. He fucked him up. Yeah. Some answers and those are shit. Yeah, so I, 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 would you put Kevin Holland in Robert Whitaker's class? Like, I, I don't even think it's oh, close. Oh, hell no. Right? I think it'd be a fun. Honestly, I'd like to actually see those two fight one day. Actually, Holland and Whitaker. About it. Yeah, I think that'd be a fun one. I, I mean, I don't know how Whitaker wouldn't win that. But, I don't think he'd. I don't know how he doesn't win either. But I still think it would be fun. But yeah. anyway, yeah, Whitaker is a whole different level of someone. This is not someone you're getting in short term notice. This is a guy who's been in the weight class for a while. He knows how to win fights to decisions nowadays. Whoa. He hasn't gotten a knock. I mean, not that he did, just try to knock people out. Yo, the chat's saying Holland's better than Whitaker. Wait, who's that? Kevin? How many people think Holland's better than Whitaker? What? Oh, he's black. Oh, blacker. Delusional. Is that what you mean? He's blacker? Yes, you're correct. He's blacker than Whitaker. So, I'm uh, oh, I don't understand how Holland's better. Yeah, I don't know. I've never... Plus two saw no say if he wears the wig. Oh, minus okay. two if not. <laughs> Neutral face. Minus, this, this minus two me. I don't, I don't, okay. I'm not putting the wig. Minus two. You sure, Sonosi? I mean, you can put the wig on for two seconds. No. You sure? I mean, it's two points. It, you know, it's very important. I can survive. It's fine. Okay. That's going to tie you up with um, the great two joints. I'm not looking to win. I'm just looking to to, to entertain tonight. Okay. All right. So, Sanosi, we're, we're taking 30 off. This is going to tie him up with the joints. Okay. Like I said before, if you want to get in the game, $5 to enter the program, into, enter the game. If you have 20 points next to your name, you can be a co-host of the MMA Holes Fook Off Friday. And the person with the most points at the end of the night spins the Fuko Friday wheel. Thank you guys for your support. Uh-oh. Speak Guinness. of the oh. de- devil. Guinness, I gonna beat everybody. There he is. I gonna finish everybody. 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 I gonna finish everybody. I gonna smash everybody. There we go. Ride drive. How dare you, Sanosai? I smash Bobby Knuckles and those belts over your head. Then satisfy KAC when I'm done. <laughs> Love you guys. Points Mystic Mo's. Yeah, baby! Let's go! Oh. That'd be accurate except for the fact that he can't come to the States. Damn. Damn. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Ride Drive. Let me put these points in my box over here. 98. Thank you so much for the points. Let's get the spin, baby. All right. Thank oh. you, Ride Drive. You were, you were asking me before about um, USC 300, if, if I think you're somewhere in there. So right now I'm I'm road I'm in the floor G. I'm somewhere kind of like in the middle lower kind of area. Okay, so yeah, so, let's so, let's start from the beginning here. Yeah, because I did want to talk to you about that. So ladies and gentlemen, if you just jump it in, Sonosi is going to UFC 300. Now, are you still going by yourself? Or are you going to be meeting up with somebody? I'm still going by myself. Okay. So if anyone is going to 300 or in Vegas, wants to party with the, the high score king over here, go hit them up. Where, where can they contact you, Sonosi? Discord, I guess. Okay. I don't want people knowing my business. You don't want to give your phone number on air? Fuck no. <laughs> okay. No phone numbers. I tried, guys. All right. So uh, so this is, a, like we've said this before, it's a pretty ballsy move. To, to fly over to Vegas, I mean, across the country. Are you bringing both belts? Just one. I don't want, I can't look both of them. <laughs> Bro, 
around if you're walking around this strip with the boat. Is that, car- is that carry on on an airport? One of them them belts. I can bring. I can bring one. I can't bring both. I'm not looking oh both God. belts. Oh, it'd be so great if Sonosi had both belts and he's just walking up yeah. and down the strip. Are you gonna bring it to the fights? I will bring it. I will bring it to the fight. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yeah. I'll take a picture of me with at least the, my, the, the 2023 oh my belt. I will Bro. do that. I'm not bringing both, though. Bro, I you're just, a fucking legend. You're a legend. You, if you show up, I want to see pictures of you outside. Was it T-Mobile Arena, right? Yeah, I will take a picture of me outside with it. Yeah. I'll, oh, I will my bring God. Belt. See, this is why if you ever hated Sonosi, you got to love him for this, man. This is an MMA hole in the crowd. He's bringing the strap. He's going to show off the Fuqua Friday belt. He's going to be walking around the venue. This dude's doing this by himself. So if you're there and you see Sonosi, you better stop and buy this man a beer, for God's sakes. <laughs> or give him some fucking weed or something. I don't know. Uh, that's awesome, man. So, yeah. okay. So when are you flying to Vegas? The 11th. I'm just going to look at the time. Yeah, 11th. So you thinking Thursday. about, like, vlogging this or anything? Hmm? You going to vlog it or anything? Like, like, video any of it? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not really a big vlogger, but maybe I'll, I'll, I'll entertain the thought of it. I tell you what, if... don't like, <laughs> what are you laughing for? Don't, <laughs> don't like, don't worry about editing it or some shit. Just fucking. No, 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 no. Nothing yeah. about editing. I, I, if I just did it, it'd just be regular, you know, to be vlog. Hilarious. Yeah, you just on your cell phone. Just rec- make sure there's a bunch of space in your cell phone. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, record some clips. Put it, slap it together on your channel. We'll do a whole, I'll do, I'll, I'll do a whole show about it. It'd be hilarious. I'll do a whole show, man. It'd be so fucking funny, man. Moss, Moss, I sure wasn't laughing at Sonosi. I just, I want to see him hanging with a couple of Asian-looking chicks for at least a couple of days. Like, <laughs> like pretty woman times two in a row. You think like, that's If I get any of that kind of stuff going on, you think I'm recording that? I'm so oh, not my the God. scenes, but you know, you guys hanging out at the bar drinking. Them. I tell you, man, I would love, I would love to be there for this. If I didn't have a lot of shit going on. I would love to be there for this. If I could find a way there, maybe a day before or something, maybe, who knows, Sonosi, I might meet you on the strip. I don't know. But we need you to do this. This is very important. We need you to get one of those belts, like, on the shoulder of, like, one of those gir- those girls on the strip. You know, the ones that are half naked? Could you do that? <laughs> I will try. I will I'll make a legit try to see if I can get it. It's like, it's like, hey, extra 20 bucks. Just do this. <laughs> That's got to be the goal. Like, you have to make that belt. You have to put it in the most craziest places, you know? Like or the or if you run into a fighter, sl- throw it over their shoulder. You're gonna run into fighters. It's inevitable. Like yeah. in Vegas, I'm telling you right now, if you're just lingering around uh, the strip or fight week, dude, it's nuts. The fighters are just chilling everywhere. So you're definitely gonna run into people. You gotta get that belt on their shoulders. You know, my with my luck, I will run into Sadiq. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if he's going. Dude, that'd be so funny. That be, and you know, I'm not gonna say nothing, and I'm gonna see if he recognizes the name on the belt. I'm not, not gonna say nothing. Yeah, put the belt on his and shoulder, then, and then and then fuck with him when he takes the pictures. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Sonosi. Fuck you. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny, man. So all right, so when are you, when are you showing up there? Um, Thursday night, but I'll have all of Friday free, so that's the good part. Okay, so, so Thursday night. Okay, so and you're you're coming back home when Sunday? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm basically, as soon as the event leaves is done, I'm basically getting on a plane like two hours later. Okay. Oh, wait. So, you, with like red eye? Yeah, I'm going. I'm leaving fast. I want to get back home. I don't want to be stuck there for too long. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm only here for the I'm only here for the event. I don't give a fuck about everything else. And I don't need the temptation of losing more money that I'm probably going to already lose in Vegas. Yeah. So, Friday, Friday would probably be a good day to party. You know, and hit the. That's right. You know, Friday into Saturday, and I have all Saturday to chill yeah. until I think like event starts at. Let me look. Oh my god, it's gonna be so funny! You got it. You got to send. You got to get video. Anyone in the okay. chat? Anyone yeah, in the chat gonna be at Sorry. UFC 300? Not. You don't have to go to the event, but you're gonna be in the area. You'll be walking the strip. Run into link up with Sinosi over here, man. That'd be great. Is the Hearns going? I th- thought he said at some point he might. Oh, it hurts. I don't know how. I don't know how true that is. If so, I definitely got it. That would be funny. <laughs> Congratulations, Sonosi. Those are my belts. There's the Hearns. The Hearns is here. 47 months as a champion. Thank you, Hearns. Wonderful, wonderful. Yo, Hearns, you go into the 300? You should, dude, that would be hilarious. That would be something else. Two of the okay. biggest donators on the MMA holes, side by side, UFC 300. Okay, so it says 6 p.m. Eastern is when the event starts. So 3 p.m. is if I'm doing that correct. 3 p.m. Wait, 3 p.m. You're showing up. 
No, 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 no. When the show, when no, when the stadium for the prelims, because I'm gonna be there for the whole damn card. Oh yeah, you got to be there for the. Entire... I'm just trying. I'm just trying to calculate. How long do I have to fucking be in the stadium for? And it's gonna be a long one. Yeah, I tell you, man. I've always any event that I've gone, I've gone to like five UFC events, and every time I was there for fight number one, but. I got wrecked like every time, yeah. like right before it. Oh, I'm not. Boxed. Yeah, I'm. I'm not doing what Roberto did. I'm not. I'm not touching no alcohol or anything. I want to be stone cold sober for this event. So, are you gonna just drink at the event, or actually, if you got to travel afterwards, that's gonna be a problematic, no? I, I just won't go crazy. I'll drink a little, but I'm not gonna go nuts. What if? But what if you find a nice young lady, uh, like in the seats next to you or something like that, and you you hit it off. And then you got to fly home. Are you going to stay an extra day? Are you going to push off the flight? No. Nope. Fuck that. I oh. want to go home. Okay. <laughs> you might you might meet the uh, future Mrs. Sinosi. Yeah, they could give my phone to rip, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Vegas once. I mean, I've been to Vegas a bunch of times. But one time, a buddy of mine met a chick on the plane ride to Vegas. And he vanished the whole trip. And he was fucking this girl the entire trip. And we did not see him at all. He was trapped in the room with this girl the entire week. And then the next time we saw him was when we got on the plane to go home. Oh, damn. <laughs> Dude, I was like, what is going on? No, and that I was did, it. That happened, that happened to me before on a trip to um, Met her on the Vancouver. Plane. With Vancouver with a bunch. No, not that. But me with a bunch of, of buddies. One or two of them were gone for the whole trip. We didn't see them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it was like and I asked them. It's like some kind of hangover kind of scenario, minus being stuck on a hotel. It's like, weird, what the right? fuck do you do? It's like, it's yeah, like, I feel like every guy's got a story like that, right? Where they got a friend that just vanishes on a trip, <laughs> I, <laughs> goes down this road. Yeah, I have a couple of stories I could probably tell about that. I was never that guy. I was usually with the group, but yeah. I mean, I oh, no, I would be that guy, except for one problem. I am not the, the greatest of navigation, so I'll be afraid of that. If I become that guy, I will never find my way back. Uh-huh. Do you think you, what if you can't find T-Mobile Arena? What's going to Oh no, I know where it is. It's connected to my whole I'm No fuck. I was about to give away what hotel I'm staying at, but no. Okay. I'm 10 minutes away. I'm like 10 15 minutes away from it drive-wise. So you're staying at MGM. In that area. <laughs> Dude, I'm I... not saying which arena I'm staying. At. I'm not saying I'm not saying which hotel I'm staying at. I don't need stalkers. Yeah. You might, yeah. Or, you know what? You might or, be walking that strip. When people see that belt, they're probably like, "Oh my God, it's Sinosi!" That people might lose their I don't minds. Know about that. I'm more likely to see some hobo trying to jump me for the belt, thinking it's real gold or some dumb shit. I bet someone is gonna recognize you. I have this weird feeling. I think so. I mean, because they're going to look at you with that belt and be like, "Is he's either retarded or he's somebody, you know? <laughs> oh, he's both. Oh, oh, that oh. Like that, that belt both. is a huge giveaway. Like, he's either special or he's somebody. And you know what's oh. nice? You're somebody. You're not special, bro. Oh, it's God. Both. Dude, I got to say. I'm carrying that belt. I, I have problems. I'm carrying a belt. Especially <laughs> if I end up doing, like, some Goofy Kobe Covington shit with wearing a suit or some shit. Yeah. I won't do that. FY. No, I won't do that. Are you gonna I'm not going that? Oh, here we go. MMA Johnny says I'm in Vegas. Let's chill. MMA Johnny, listen. I don't want to see this shit in the chat unless you're serious. Okay, if you're like, let's link up. I've seen it so many times. I've been involved in meetups where like people are like, yeah, bro, I'm in, and then they no show. It's like ridiculous. So if you're serious, MMA Johnny, link up with the Sinosi, the high score king, the champion over here, and and grace yourself. Uh, with his presence, okay? I mean, this guy is MMA whole royalty right here. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'll, I'm going to say this right now, though. Compared to most prelims, the, I just look at it discarded, and I was like, this is, I am treated, I am spoiled as fuck. The thing that had the first, the first fight is Figgy versus Cody. I tell you what, though, um, the event, this event might have a packed arena to start off, right? I mean, oh, yeah. if I you mean, have a card it's, like it's, this. They haven't done Jersey in a while, so. If if they if they are not packed for the opening fight, um, that's crazy. How much did you pay for the tickets? I don't want us to talk about the ticket price. <laughs> oh my god, you got to say it Nick, now. Yeah, two point eight k. Two thousand eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. So these seats, are they made out of gold? Do you get a hand job in these seats? Like where where is this located again? I just get the I'm on the floor. That's why it oh, costs okay. so much. Do you get but, a voucher at do you get a voucher high, at the whorehouse? You know, <laughs> the highest the, the highest one I've seen up there, 
So like the front the front row area and the floor is close to 5k. Wow. Wow. Dude, that is insane. Your this is your first UFC event, right? First one, probably last one. <laughs> oh my god. Unless I become, unless I become rich cuz goddamn that's expensive. Well, that is insanity, man. That is that's a true fan right there. I'm hoping that I mean, I'm assuming you're going to run into dude you're probably going to be running into celebrities and fighters, and it, it's it's going to be bonkers, man. Oh, Make, how big 300 is? Oh, you trust me. I'm hoping I run into, a, into some celebrities. You got to you know that. what? If I can find them and I can give and I can get through the security detail, just imagine if I ran into like someone like Donald Trump. Like Trump, here's the belt. Go yeah, ahead, pose with it. Put it on his shoulder. I would, <laughs> the yes, Service I would. Point. I would win their life if I can get someone like that. Or can't think of some other big celebrities right now. I don't. Yeah, that'd be cool. Are you going to hang out with Nina Drama? No. <laughs> I know she's going to go smoke a big blunt with Snoop. Oh, oh that'd my be God. awesome, but no, I don't think I get that much. <laughs> it's going to be so funny, man. Like, you got to find a way to get that belt in the weirdest place. If, if, if I can get a belt on a uh, celebrity, that'd be, that, that's all I need to do. Yeah. One. I have a feeling. Doesn't matter who it is. There's going to be a lot of hammered people walking around. So people are going to be just not even asking and probably grabbing your belt to, to take pictures and shit like that. I guarantee people. That's just how Vegas is. You know, everyone's buddy-buddy. and Well, that's why I'm keeping a strap like this, hanged up like this. It ain't going to be an easy y yank. Like, yeah. Because you know there's going to be a one dumbass ass that's going to try to. Yeah. It's, so you bring the, two. Are you bringing the first strap or the second strap? The the, the defending or the... Uh... <laughs> the new one. <laughs> You're bringing the new one. Okay. Oh, man. This is going to be good. I can't wait. I'm to keeping see. the I'm keeping the OG one home in case something happens to this belt. Gotcha. One, okay. One, one. All right. This is exciting. Very exciting. Sinosai, if you see an SUV pull up on you and Mr. Chow rolls down the window, <laughs> runs. I'm very jealous, Sinosi. I, I think you're going to have a blast. I think you're going to have a great time. Um, and the fact that you have the balls of steel to do this by yourself and then pay $2,800 for a seat. Dude, I mean, that is, I don't know anyone that's done. Do you, do you, uh, like, what are you thinking right now? Now that the ticket's purchased, right? Like, like. Looking back, do you think you made a wise move here, or are you going to wait until no. the event happens? I'm going to regret it a little bit, but I'm going to be happy afterwards. I just regret it because my bank account died because of it. Yeah. I spent over four thousand dollars for everything. Holy cow! Yeah, the flight, so, the oh my god, dude, the the, the hotel, hotel, the plane ticket. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you what, bad. document the shit out of this. I I know, like I I'm a firm believer of just absorbing it, enjoying it. Don't pull your phone. Oh no, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some but, moments I'm gonna have to record just because of being yeah, in the moment, especially yeah. being in that arena. If I can capture a knockout near the cage or anything, oh hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you catch. So I, you'll definitely catch some good shit. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Don't, don't be shy, Sonosi. Like, I mean, it, document the room service. I mean, uh, all different sorts of things. How nice the room is, you know, and the view and all that shit. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. But have the belt yeah. on in every every video you make. Please make sure that belt is either over your shoulder. Come out of the shower. <laughs> come out of the shower. Have it around your package, you know, and then yeah. just say, oh, what? No. Oh, what? We're not doing that. We're I not even shower with this thing, you know? No? I'm not traumatizing anybody with that. <laughs> But I'll, I will try to keep the belt on for everything if I do some recordings. I just got to – probably not the airport because I want to get out of the airport as soon as possible. Oh, my – are you going to have the belt on the plane? you going to – over the shoulder on the plane? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only place I'm not going to put it. After I get off the plane, I'm yeah. in Vegas. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. I don't give a fuck. But before that, I'm not taking any – not. I don't want to give anyone an excuse to do anything stupid. I don't want to jinx myself. I just want to get to Vegas. Once I get to Vegas – no one knows who the fuck I am. I'm going to enjoy Vegas and have fun. Oh, you'd be, be surprised. You're the nice. high score king, for God's sake. Oh, you'd be surprised. Super chat. Here comes oh, the Hearns, baby. Okay. Park MGM is the best place to stay. Italian restaurants. Fast food across the street if you want to avoid the casino food prices. There you go. Hearns. There you go. There's so many, there's those apps and everything yeah. like that. Where oh, you can, I'm going to find, I can find places easily. That's not, I'm not worried about expenses i do that kind of research because again i need to save some money yeah but i'll probably do at least one restaurant in the casino strip at least at one point just for the experience kool-aid wants you to wrap the belt around the luggage <laughs> <laughs> the actual luggage or the, or you're talking about my penis you gotta jump in yes your penis 
you got to jump in the bed too. You got to have like you know when the when uh, these guys win belts in the UFC and then you, they take a picture of them in the with the in the bed with the belts. Like this belt's got to be in every picture, every video that you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be there, you know. It's good. Yeah, I will. I will definitely. You know, so if I have time and it's not too crazy, I will try to make sure I have a even have a live stream at some point. Okay. Well, I uh, tell everyone the, the channel so they can go check it out. I don't want to. I'm too lazy. What? You don't want to tell them the channel? I mean, what the hell, man? I haven't. I haven't put my channel. Out. Listen, when it happens, I'll put a community post out. Okay. People will see it. Yeah, but they don't know your channel. So, all right, I'll tell you what. Well, yeah, when it happens and you got your shit up, I'll show it yeah. on the stream and we'll shout you out. Okay. Yeah. I just don't. I don't, I'm not gonna pimp it out right now because I'm not. I haven't done anything lately. I just have been so tired of everything going around me. You know what, too? And if, if you got time and you want to DM us stuff while we're reacting into 300, maybe what we'll do is, you know, let me know in the DMs and then maybe we'll put some of your footage, <laughs> the man on the street, you know, footage. We'll, we'll show the people. <laughs> Dude, 300 could be nuts. If I can have a, you know what? If I had time to get a damn mic, I would. I, that would be funny. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to go through that. I would have to get some shots going before I start running into random people doing Billy in the street kind of bullshit of trying to throw a mic towards people. Well, they got those tall, slushy drinks with the 151 shots in it. Oh, God, I've seen those. <laughs> Double shot that puppy, you'll be flying, you know? <laughs> I've been there. Me and my brother, we used to do that all the time. We used to, when we hit the strip, we would get one of those fucking girly, gigantic fucking, you know, yeah. double shot nonsense and, um, yeah. And the gigantic sand pails and the girls have got four straws in it, but there's it's like so fucking good. a 40 yeah. pounder yeah. in the thing and they're all just <laughs> fucking cross-eyed out. <laughs> Dude, we've, we've had times where we were so boxed during the day walking the strip. We didn't even go out at night. We were so drunk, you know? Yeah. So we stopped but doing that. Yeah. I just had to look at my plane ticket. Yeah. I'm leaving like around 4 a.m. Yeah. Okay. 4 so, a.m. And, and I, but the good news is because it's not that I got to remember, it's not like the typical time where, um, it ends on here. Like the fight cards on the East Coast usually end like around like 1 a.m. The fact that it's on West Coast, it'll probably end like around 11 o'clock, probably. Yeah. I don't know when it ends for you guys. I don't usually measure the time. Probably earlier. Coast when it ends. Yeah, be er probably earlier. In Vegas, I think. Well, what time is in Vegas? I don't know if the time's lined up. Like we're 9:24 now, but I don't know what time it is in Vegas. Saint. Oh, let's. I don't you know, know what? We're, we're synced up. Let's check it. <clears throat> they might. There might be an hour difference. I don't. I don't know. It might. I think they are pure West Coast. Yeah, because you guys have. Yeah. I loved, man. I loved going to the fights in Vegas because, like, there was plenty of time to just party afterwards. Um, what time is it right now? It's nine twenty-four yeah. here for me. Same, same setup. It's oh, nine twenty-four okay. right now there too. So it'll be the same time when you guys do the event. So let's okay. see. Let's look at this card here. We'll, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> All right. Hypothetical. I think it's like what thirteen on the. So well, let me look. Let me see. So you said wait, it's 4 a.m. that your your flight is going back home. You said, yeah. Oof, Sonosi. My goodness. I'm just going in and out because, like I said, I don't want to be tempted to be there longer than I have to. Yeah. I'm here. For, I'm here for. I'm here for the event. I'm not here for anything else. Smart move, Sonosi. For real, for real, bro. That's wise. You know. I don't yeah. want to get trapped with anything that's gonna give me an excuse. Yeah, the gambling. <laughs> oh, it's not even yeah. the gambling. Just anything can happen during that time. It's like no. All right, so it's probably going to end around 10. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking because it'll give me at least two, three hours because, you know, it says I have to get on the plane at four, but obviously planes, you got to usually be there like two hours in the airport or at least an hour and a half. So really less than that even. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, 6 p.m. at that time. So 3 p.m. <laughs> that time. So yeah. And how many people, how many are in this card? Let me check. Well, you know what you do? You have the bags packed, right? And oh, yeah. I don't know. I have, I'm going to have all that set up before yeah. I even leave the hotel. So even if you get UFC. boxed, you know, you just make sure you leave yourself, like, a good couple of hours <laughs> to get to the airport and find your way to the gate. Um, and then just sleep you, on the did plane. Did you see this, by the way? If you look at the site and you click on UFC 300, they have a thing listed cancel or fizzle belts. They have Leon and Bilal listed on there. Okay. What is this? What, what are we looking at? Tabology, if you look at UFC 300, you go on the bottom, you know how they say canceled belts? Huh. They have Leon listed here. Canceled belts? Belt, belts, um, bouts, bouts. Bouts. Oh, okay. I'm like, belts. No. Uh, I mean, it would have been belts if they don't. But the fact that I actually just noticed this right now, it's like, yeah, apparently they were possibly, possibly landing those two on there. Let's see. UFC 300. We're, we're trying to get our website live for this. 
So I'm like, yeah, just keep oh. just keep scrolling, just keep scrolling down. You'll see on the very near the very bottom. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pretty solid card. Oh yep, yeah, right, right there. Fizzled. <laughs> it's just fizzled. I know it's just fizzled. But it's, I find that fascinating. Like that might have been a chance. You know, I'm so glad that fight. Listen, yeah, as much right. as we are, we're shitting on the idea of Jamal Hill and Pereira, picture how much worse it would have been if it was Leon and Bilal. Am I crazy for thinking Jamal's gonna win? Am I nuts? There's only one circumstance. If he's saying what he's claiming for my <coughs> going to stand up with him, yes. I think I think Jamal's gonna win. He better mix it up. If he tries to purely strike with him, he's not it's not gonna be a good day. Jamal's got a chin. He you see his meme videos that he's putting out too, and he's he's contacting Izzy for advice. Like he's actually being I've pretty seen, fun. I've seen that. He's trying. Hey, yeah. I give him credit. He's he's going he's going for it. You know why people are counting him out because of that dumbass tattoo he has on his chest and the fact he never looks like he's in shape. But if you go I, and look at his resume, you're like, well, this guy he knows how to win. You, you know, know what? I'll tell you why they're counting him out. His best win was a 43 year old Glover Trish Shearer. He lost to Paul fucking Craig. His yeah. wins, but it was an injury. Fruit, yeah. I it, the, he wouldn't have wins, lost that fight. He got injured. He was gonna, he he would have lost. That submission hold was holding. On. He was and gonna it, lose that fight on the ground. He would have lost. Care. He would have beat him. I give him a shot. I seriously give him a shot to win, man. Like Pereira's hair... not perfect either. Yeah, you know? I I gotta be honest with you, man. Like Pereira gets Look hit. Jamal, I'm not impressed with. I'm not impressed with either of them. To be fair, I like Pereira a little bit more, but even I can admit, like, listen. Both of their skill levels are not that are not that elite. Yeah. Well, the UFC wants Pereira to win, and I think the fan base would want Pereira to win, and I kind of want Pereira to win too. So I'm not shitting on Pereira, but I think Jamal's going to get it done. He could. Know. There's only one reason I would want Pereira to win more than anything else. If he claims what he says that happens, he wants to jump right back to save 301. Yeah. Uh, the, the UFC is dying. They need Pereira to win. Like, Pereira, you know, he wins, and... You got all these other crazy options you could throw out there. Maybe triple champ. Who the hell knows? Um, yeah. I mean, the Izzy fight's always there. He could always run that back again. But um, <sighs> let's see. Let's see. I'm going to see the odds. So Pereira. Oh, wow. The line's pretty close. Yeah. Jamal's yeah. Like a plus 115 underdog. He's just, he's, he's just a he's just a slight. There's a he's reason for that. Slight, yeah. Yeah. Don't sleep on Jamal. Don't sleep on. Oh no, me. I'm I'm probably gonna put a separate bet for Jamal because again, I'm not married to either of them for winning. I think it can go either way depending on what strategies people use. Yeah. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be funny if Prayer pulls like a Francis? If Prayer pulls a pros, what do you mean? Uh, like how he like, gets gone, the way he just suddenly wrestles or vision jujitsu something that Jamal Hill wouldn't see coming. I mean, nothing would shock me anymore. And we see him grappling, and he's Glover Teixeira is his like Yoda. So, yeah. So I mean, it's not impossible. Two joints. You think Pereira's going to start wrestling? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I think Hill Hill's got the skills. I mean, pardon the pun to to maybe take it to the distance or knock him out in the second round. Like Sonosi said, it might turn into an Aganu fucking Joshua fight. Mm -hmm. You know, all this hype and then boom, fucking Hill c catches him and that's it. Jamal you know? Hill. I think the reason, one of the reasons why he's so good is he is skilled. Um, but two, he's from Michigan. This guy's got oh, Mich wow. he's got Michigan in him, and and, uh, and Moss, he's he's six foot four or something like that. Like he's a big dude, man. This guy's from the hood, man. Like this guy, this guy, you know what I'm saying? Like this guy, he's been yeah. through some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he has a hood. Yeah, Michigan, and then that whole thing that happened with his family last yeah. year. He's been through shit. Like you don't yeah, just he, walk around with that tattoo and not, you know, you not be a good fighter. You know, you can't was, walk around I mean, and not know how to fight. I just see some people like, listen, I'm not saying Jamal Hill's not a good fight. I just don't think he's an elite fighter just yeah. because of where he's at so far. If he destroys Purr, I'll take it back. If he, like, you know, it's a one-sided beating like he did to Glover for the most part, I'll take it back. But until then, I'm not saying he's a he's a, a good fighter. He's just not a that elite level yet. I mean, he hasn't fought that long. He only has 13 fights. Yeah, guy, not much at all. I mean, well, so I mean, Pereira has a lot more fights when you count kickboxing. his kickboxing. But yeah, MMA, not so much. You know, no, and Pereira also tight. isn't he pushing forty? Oh, he's thirty six. Thirty six. That I will say right now. That's the thing I worry about the most. You know, he looks like he's in great shape. Um, it doesn't. He doesn't look old in any way. And Pereira could win this fight. I'm not saying it's impossible for him to win this fight. I'm just kind of leaning towards Jamal. But you know, the know. thing about the one thing I will say about Pereira that really scares me: this guy shouldn't be winning the way he's won. Like you know, like oh, he shouldn't have won that. Um, 
that Jan that Jan um, Jan fight. He won that one somehow. The Yuri thing, yeah, it's he it, lost it, that fight argue, in my opinion. Yeah, but the point is, he wins fights. Wait, people thought he was going to lose against Strickland. Beat Strickland. Izzy beat Izzy. Rematch. We don't talk about that. We know what happened there. But the point is, he still wins fights you don't expect him to win. He is probably one of the luckiest fighters on the roster. He's charmed for sure. Yeah, there's there's no doubt about it. I mean, I'm not trying to discredit his his career. <clears throat> he did some pretty special things. Um, a champion in two weight classes. Uh, took took out Izzy. You know, he did get s smoked by Izzy, but redeemed himself nicely. He did kind of get the benefit. I, I'm sorry, I, the Prohaska fight. I mean, listen, he was he yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not listen. I'm not disagreeing know. that. Yeah, they should have let him cave his skull in a little bit yeah. longer to see what would happen. But I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not crying about that. I'm not. I'm not saying any of that. But I'm just saying like there is yeah. some things that kind of stand out where lead me to believe that he's not perfect, right? And the thing is, we're we're mesmerized by the the aura of Pereira. You know, the walkout is phenomenal. That freaking. <laughs> Yeah, the charma, his social media presence, the fact that he doesn't speak English yet he's still he's very learning. Caring. He's getting a little better, not much. No, it'll take some years. But I mean, what fighter that doesn't speak English is a star like this guy? You know, like this guy is a fucking superstar. I'm trying to think, the last person that was close to that was probably Jose Aldo, closest. Yeah, and I, I got to be honest with you, I don't think he had the juice that he's got. No, I mean, no, no, people no. Love Aldo. Okay. Don't get me wrong, but. He's I mean, a fucking stud, like like star, like social media people love him. He's a meme. He's this. He's that. Like you know, like I I, I can't recall. I mean, Josie Aldo's a good one. No, but, I'm just trying to. I'm actually trying to think of in terms of UFC because if you tell me outside of UFC, obviously it's Fedor. But if you're asking me in the yes. UFC, I'm trying to think. I was gonna say Darren Till. I've never understood a fucking word he said. <laughs> Listen, he still counts. You can understand every fifth word he says, so it still okay. counts. Uh, um. My bad. No, honestly, the last person I can maybe, maybe Figueredo was getting there slowly before he fucked it up with Moreno. Davison, yeah, he, he kind of had a thing. He was getting oh, there. Yeah. I mean, he was, get, people were getting very hyped for him back then when he was kicking everyone's ass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm trying to, yeah. I, I don't know, like, when it comes to, like, Korean Zombie is the closest one, maybe. Yeah, Korean Zombie, yeah, he, he had a pretty big following, but still, I don't think he had what Pereira has. Like, Pereira, you know what I'm saying? Like, that there's silent something silent killer special. kind of thing going for him, whatever he's, he's yeah. got, what kind of vibe he got going for him, he doesn't need to talk. Yeah, like, what about, what about Peter Yon? Like, no kidding aside, like, he doesn't really speak English, does he? Like, he's just... No, uh, he's, he's, he's starting, no, no, he's trying. If you've seen the Nina thing, he, he, he has more English than I thought he did. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Hello, Carol. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Sorry. God, but yeah... If you really think about, yeah, no one. No yeah, one's, I'm telling there's you. There's some close ones, but you know what? The main thing is, listen, as much as I hate his guts, and I can actually say hate, not dislike, Izzy is what helped. That, well, the fact that he he knocked them out cold, clean, in glory is what helped. 100%. And the fact that he was able, and the fact that he was able to back it up and win after losing, was losing that fight in a decision helps. Yes. I and agree. since then, he says he just keeps he keeps and he keeps beating the odds in some weird way. People didn't think he was going to win against Prohaska. People didn't think he was going to win against Vakulis, even though you know the split decision he could have lost that. He keeps winning somehow in ways I don't expect. Yeah, you're right. And if it wasn't for Israel Adesanya and the whole storyline, Charma wouldn't be a thing. I don't think the UFC would have even gave a fuck, you know, about bringing no. him in. Oh, great! An another kickbox. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. He has the thing being. Uh, a ch the, the first um, double champ in glory kickboxing. That's yeah. a great thing, but most people don't know what the fuck glory kickboxing is. Yeah, one of the reasons why I really jumped on Pereira was like, oh, I hope this guy fucking beats Izzy in the in the octagon. You know, like that's, and I think a lot of people were thinking that. And he did it, and he yeah. did the thing that everyone wanted him to. And I think, yeah. how often does that happen? Never. Yeah. I can't think of anyone who's been transported over that has a thing, okay, I beat this guy in this organization. I'm going to try to do it here. No one's ever done it. If he if he beats Jamal Hill, it's going to be another massive move in in the direction of like separating himself where we've never seen this before. You know, like he's doing something really really special here. He beats Jamal Hill, and then if somehow he can, I don't know, get like three belts, <laughs> if he can do that yeah. or some crazy shit. I would love you know? him. To, listen, I would love. You know, what I would love to happen. But the problem he wants to do three hundred one. If it wasn't for the three hundred one thing, put him even if it's an interim title, put him against Aspinall. Go ahead. I mean, having a legacy, being a champion. He's what six four. 
Oh, yeah. Prayer? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Six, six four, four so eight he's a big dude. Yeah. Big fucking dude. I wonder how much Tommy more meat he could put on. Get fat. He gotta get thick, you know? But look at, um, now, let me look at Aspinall's size. But yeah, Aspinall is slightly bigger at six five, and he has a shorter reach. Not that reach matters all the time, but yeah. Yeah. So Aspinall's yeah. only a little bigger. So yeah, Prayer can definitely get the heavyweight. Huh. Yeah, it's not impossible. You know, there's guys at heavyweight where you can say, okay, you have the perfect guy sitting there at the throne. That's when you slide him in. What about Pereira? Would you even think about how how tall is Bones? Bones is six five too, isn't he? Or is he six four? He's about. I think he's six four. I don't yeah, I think, think he's Jones a, might be the same height, right? Let me check the magic. He's yo, six four, same height. Yo, but the difference is he has that. I think it was what eighty four reach. Yo, this is how you get Jones to stick around. That's how you Either do it. Pereira. You throw you throw Pereira. a fucking curveball, and you have Pereira go up for three belts. John would foam at the mouth because Pereira is fighting a couple weight classes down, right? Oh, yeah. Jones would be all over this shit. Jones versus I mean, Alex Pereira? Holy fuck. Well, you could sell the fuck out of the fight regardless of... We know what's going to happen probably. It's the same thing that happened to Gon. Yeah, so this is another situation, like the Hamzat situation. Pereira wins, way better for the fans, way better for the UFC. Jamal Hill wins, he throws a monkey wrench in the whole situation, and then everyone's like, oh, here's that fucking guy again. You know, um, I think Jamal's going to win, but if Pereira gets this done, holy crap... I mean, you got so many options. It's it's kind of it's stupid the options you have with this dude. It's crazy there, that with the UFC. There's one, there's one thing I'm actually very worried about. If he takes the 301 card, you know who they're gonna put him against possibly, and that's who I'm afraid of. Anka Liev, please no. Oh God. Anyone but him. I yeah. If the UFC did that, it's almost like you're throwing him <laughs> in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like listen, Anka Liev yeah. has gotten a little bit more entertaining lately to Fuck an extent. But it's like please no. Yeah, Please don't that do that to us yet. I know it's horrible. That's the same thing we say about Marab. Like, give him his title shot. But then, can we just stall a little longer if you give him one month? I see in the chat someone I mean, says, you, uh, you think a guy with a thumbs up tattoo is going to beat Alex? Yeah. It, I, like I said before, if you are able to walk around with this fucking tattoo on you and then wind up being a UFC champion, there's a reason why you have that tattoo because oh, it takes ball it takes balls being you could fucking fight i mean this i don't know what the hell this is, <laughs> is it okay. mickey mouse is it uh, what is this and what is this scribble over here like i mean easily the worst tattoo in the ufc worse than the damage tattoo i don't know much worse than this okay. one okay so let me ask you a question let's just say everything works out prayer gets in there he does it with, with no damage or non damage that won't affect him for a month who do you think they give him in one month i think i don't think uncle live would take that he said i want more time um, the UFC would, it would like be suicide to throw Uncle Live there. You know, like, I mean, I understand why you would do it, but uh, I think he would say no. It's what I'm saying though. I think even he might say no. Like I want to wait. Wait, Oh, Alex would say no. No, no. I think Uncle Live might say no for just one month had notice. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I think Uncle Live will take whatever comes his way, but um, I mean, say, you know who might happen? I'll tell you who might get a title shot. If he wins against Yuri, Rakich. Oh, might take fuck. it if I he's hope not fucked up. God, I hope Rakich loses. I'm sorry. He's another one. Like, I'm good. Oh, God. I, I can't stand Rakich either. <laughs> I can't stand. Who was the dude he land, laid on and then it was, like, <laughs> celebrating when it was a horrific fight? Oh, I can't remember the fight. Hold on. Let me look it up now. I can't remember which one. I don't think it was Smith. I think oh, it, it was. Oh, it might have been Smith. Hold on. Was it, are you sure it's Smith? It might have been. Maybe it was Santos? Let's see. Let's see. Does anyone in the chat remember there was a fight where Rakich, um... Oh, was it Devin? No, it wasn't Devin. He, he smoked him. Uh, not Manoa. I think it was well, Smith. It was either Smith or Santos. Wait, oh, yeah, he was. Uh, like, oh, Oldsmere was another fight he had the decision. I don't think it was Oldsmere. It can't be. Like, That's he was laying on of. his opponent, whether it was Anthony. It might have been Anthony Smith. I can't fucking remember. I remember being so aggravated. I'm like, yo, bro. And he was celebrating like he won the Super Bowl. And I'm like, dude, you just bored the fuck out of us. Um, It might have been, been an Anthony Smith fight. I can't remember. But you know, yeah, good. Man. We got a moment. Let's look. What's that? Does anyone Celebrate. in the chat remember where Rakich was fucking? Was it the Anthony Smith one? It probably was. Yeah. After that, I was like, I can't root for this guy, man. This guy seems like a prick. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty big fight against Prohaska, man. Prohaska has to win. He's got to win this, man. Yuri, don't not. fucking lose to this dude. I can't stomach Rakich fighting for the belt. I just, I don't want to see it. It's bad uh, enough we got to worry about Uncle Live. 
I'm looking. I'm trying to find. Oh, it was Smith. I what, found right? it. I found it on Sure Dog. Okay. God, I haven't used the that fight was horrible. Forever. God, the fight was horrible. I know Kevin from 20, Chicago 20. is punching yeah. out right now. Yeah. So that was the fight. So yeah, it was it was him. Yuri Prohaska, you have a job to do. You have a job to do for the MMA holes. It's beat Rakich. Beat him because we don't need him moving up anymore. We just let him stay still. Don't let him complicate things and, and move up in the rankings and fight for a belt. No, thank you. No, thank you. You know, Moss, I, I think they're throwing uh, Yuri a bone here with this Rakich kid because, I mean, uh, they want Yuri to get another win under his belt, make him competitive. You know, he fucking lost the last fight. So they're going to throw him this guy and he's going to smash the shit out of him. I don't think it's that easy. I don't think it's well, that easy well, either. You think, two joints, you think he runs him over? I hope you're right, man. Yeah, for sure. Yuri fucked up his last fight. He ain't going to have two fights like like that in a row. I mean, you've seen what he's been like in the past. I mean, in a bad injury, so. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. I, I mean, they both have went through freakish injuries, so I think it's even playing field. Redemption probably, is an awful motivating factor, so I see Yuri handling him. Yeah, he's a he's a, he, I, I, agree, I agree with you, Tudrens. He's the only problem, though. Rakitz is in the same mindset as well for redemption. Yeah, he's going to have a chip on his shoulder in this fight. It's, it's and actually, in UFC 300, everybody is going to be fighting. I hope, I'm assuming, being that it's UFC 300, everyone is going to be doing their A game. They're going to be risking more than usual. Yeah. Two Do you want to be the boring fighter at UFC 300? No. So, I mean, uh, so, no, see, what are you going to do with the uh, ticket? You're going you're gonna to save that? You got to save that ticket, right? Oh, I'm going to save the ticket. Yeah. Frame that shit. You know what you got to do? Get people to sign that shit, that ticket. I have and get people who want to sign it. Bring a fucking build. marker. If, if, yeah. if, if I had to choose ticket or belt, I'd rather people sign my belt. Oh, the be belt? Honest. Have them sign both. Fuck it. Who cares? You're an MMA hole. They'll sign anything. Yeah, yeah, that's what you got to do. Bring a fucking silver marker or some shit or a black marker for the ticket or whatever. And yeah, yeah dude, that you're going to get... Uh, I mean, you spent good money. I'm hoping you come back with some really cool stuff. Um, I'm hoping too. That's pretty badass. I hope I, I hope I come back. You know... You know, it would be the funniest, not funniest, but, but I have a very morbid sense of humor. You find out, uh, what happened to Sonosi? Then you find out there was a murder in fucking Vegas. <laughs> There's going to be another mass shooting and you're going to get taken out? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So, or or on the way to the airport. <laughs> D-Rush shows happened. up and hits you Fuck. with a box cutter. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucked well, up shit happened and, like, and then that was it. That was the greatest event ever. I had the best time. And, well, fuck. Breaking news. You MMA know? hole. MMA hole dies with belt on his shoulder as he got shanked nope. by a little Italian. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, when Sinosi's, when Sinosi's down waiting for the ambulance, one of the homeless people are going to steal that belt. Nobody will be able to identify him <laughs> unless he gives his wallet. That's right. Are you guys, oh, you said a little, are you trying to imply that D-Rest is going to finally finish the job? <laughs> He's going to finish the job. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no, Hearns is gonna come in. Hearns gonna be like, Oh, you wanna snatch those belts from me? Hearns comes over there. <laughs> Fucking pulls your tongue out of your neck. <laughs> yeah, this is a cartel job. We have no idea who did this. I have a feeling Hearns might have some good connections. He might come over there, slice the neck, pull the fucking tongue out. Wear that tie to the event. But then right, but it's problem, then you can never show you can never show that belt live though, because then we know what happened. That would be cool if Hearns and Sinosi were at this event, though. That would be pretty cool. Anyway. I mean, if he shows up, that's one day. Anyway, um, <laughs> one day. One day the stars will align. Well, anyway, this is a fantastic event. Sinosi's going to it. He's going to be there for it. What, what fight? Okay. All right. Take away the main event. Take away the BMF. Oh, you're horrible. You're taking the good fights away, the best ones right what there. Is, what is the next one that you're most jacked about? Who's jacked? Yeah. I gotta look real quick. I, I, my brain automatically was gonna say Charles, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I don't know how that fight's gonna go. If it's not that fight, to be honest, the only other fight on the Sadiq? card. I'm here. This one? Uh, no. I want to see what the. I want to see the Bobby Green Jim Miller thing. How that turns out. You know, you're gonna be so close to the cage that S Sadiq could hear you. So you could be like, I'm Sanosi from the. Sadiq. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I am Sinosi. You need to. You need a big sign. Come get like, me, motherfucker! I don't know. I don't think the UFC allows you to bring sign. By the way, hit the like button if you haven't done so. I don't know if I'll, the UFC. Yeah, I, we don't bring sign. Yeah, you can't bring. Oh I don't my god, a big ass sign. sign. I'm Sinosi. Listen, if I could bring signs, I just be flashy all the time. Hopefully, one pops up. 
Oh God, Sadiq sees you in the Chris, crowd. I'd, I'd like to say the fight I'm looking forward to the most is Gaith, uh, Gaith G and uh, Holly, Hollywood. Yeah, but he, asked, but he asked me which one that isn't one of those two. Yeah, no BMF. That's be a banger. You know what I mean? Yeah, everyone, I think everyone's fight everyone's looking forward to the most is the BMF fight. Yeah. Which is really weird. Like, but, not because of the name of the belt or whatever, but just oh, because... Oh, the two guys. The two guys yeah, fighting. Uh, gonna... We don't get that shit very often. I mean, yeah. these are two guys that have been around for a long time. And Max... You know, fuck, he can take a lot of damage, and same with uh, Justin. So somebody's getting knocked the fuck out. It ain't going to a decision. There's the no crowd's going to be electric I'll, I'll say, for this I'll, fight. I'll tell you right now, though, there is a fight that's kind of tied with me with the Jim Miller one that's kind of in the same vote. It can be either. It can get switched either. Or the first line in the card. Figgy versus Cody? That's a banger, yeah. That's a very, that's a very fascinating first fight. Yeah. I wish they were both in their prime when they did this. I, I want... mean, Figgy might... Oh, no, he's 30. So I'm not kidding. They're not in their primes anymore. I, dude, I, for some reason, I want to see Cody Garbrandt go on another run. Like, I want to see <sighs> one more. I used to hate Cody Garbrandt. Now I'm like, you know what? It'd be hilarious if this guy finds his way back to the belt. You know? I'd be fine. With, I'd be honestly fine with either of them get a title shot against O'Malley. The, Co, listen, if Cody can get a title shot out of nowhere, that'd be great. Just because the, the 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 shit talking those two have done before. Yeah, they have history. Yeah. Um, that would be a pretty solid fight. I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Cody, and, and I don't have anything against Figueredo. He just doesn't speak English, you know. Like I, I know always, that that's a point against unless he's why I go Cody. unless he's unless he's prayer. Basically, most people, if you don't speak English, sorry, you're fucked. Yeah, that kind of kills it for some people, especially if you want that hype of that big star. I tell you, I, it's a solid card, man. You know, we've shit on it before. You know, you know, saying this and that because of what Dana uh, pushed out, you know, was promising us. But at the end of the day. I mean, every single fight is interesting. The female fight with uh, Kayla Harrison and, and Holly. I mean, Holly, you know, fuck there's off. There's only but... one really. There's only really one fight no one uh, no one's gonna care about, this and one? that's gonna be on a bathroom one. It's the Drage fight. I tell you what, it might not be bad though. It might not be bad. It might not be, but I gotta find a bathroom break somewhere, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is what I would probably break on too. Sure. If I have to choose, I'm gonna choose that one. The only reason I listen, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Kayla Harrison is possibly gonna be boring as fuck too. But I'm still curious. I tell you what, you know, I have interest in Cater and Sterling, but in the main card, if you, I mean, oh, actually, right before the main card, that might be the one. You oh, might, who's this? You guy talk about Vakic and Praska? Fuck's this guy? Wait, hold on. Someone's calling me. Hold on a second. What's the fuck? Someone from someone's like calling Instagram. Hold on. What's up, oh. buddy? What's going on? What's going on, bro? Yeah, <laughs> he didn't think I was gonna pick up. <laughs> <laughs> just my head popped up on the screen. Like, oh, I think I was going to pick up. He was like, what the fuck? He answered. If you want to come on the show, $20. Get the $20. By the way, we're playing the points game. If you if we want to get another co-host, let's go. I mean, listen, I'll go a little bit longer. I do have to take a leak, though. So you guys want to hold down the fort for a second while I tinkle? Sure. sure. Thank you, guys. All right. So, guys, we have two joints. We got Sinosi. I'm sorry, two joints. Me and Sinosi have been like, it's like we're making love together. It's like we're talking no, rambling. You know what it is, though, Moss? Like, I'm just not kind of schooled and educated with all the weight class and stuff and snow and all these other guys it, it's good that you get to interact with them because i'm just kind of like the goofball that pops in so i'm glad he's here for fuck's sake. He, hasn't, he hasn't seen me on here for months he's making up the lost time other than the gummy gang streams it's so, all good so comes across like he might be a little special but i gotta say he's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna he's deny not bad. <laughs> He's not bad, man. He he he's knowledgeable. He's got good takes. Like even if you disagree with his take, he he backs it with fact. So I, I gotta give him credit. I'll give you props on that. Not much will I you know say nice things about Sanosi, but there no, I'll say not it many nice things. All right, I'll be right back. You know what? UFC 300. Now I'm just gonna have to go retard it now. <sighs> That's so awesome, Sanosi. I'm super happy for you, man. And you know what? You're gonna feel that energy when you get in there, and even the first fight's gonna be a banger, like you said. It's yeah, it, a fucking good time. I, I just hope it's not. I just hope it's for once. This people actually show up. It's not like those. You know how like the first couple of fights, like the arena's empty. I just hope that's not the case for once. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Like this is a historic event, man. I hope. Uh, I hope it's banging right off the start. Like a lot, a lot of people there. You know, not waiting will, to get three fights in or something. I will be pissed off if this card's a dud. Yeah. If we get a decision fast, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I mean, look at the look at these fights. There's only a few fights on here that should be decision. Yeah. Say say by the say by the main card, three fourths of the fights are all decisions, but they're not fun. Like I don't care if a decision happens; it's a fun fight. But imagine it drags on. Some of these fights can end up being boring as fuck. I mean, Kayla Harrison can just grind on Holly for three rounds, yeah. for example. 
Yeah, yeah. that makes for a long card. Like even if 80% of the fights are decisions, so no, see, that must make the card like an hour longer at least. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean as much as, listen, I'm, I have no issue with someone like Morikano, but let's be honest, there's a chance his fight will be boring. Uh, it's hard to say. He's a scrappy little fucker, man. I'll... Yeah, but let's be honest. But I'm talking if he grapples for three rounds with Jalen Turner, it could become boring. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying it will be boring, but there's a chance. And there were people who were booing the fuck out of that his last fight. Well, the, Turner must have some kind of a reach advantage. Like, I mean, he's obviously... Oh, God. Re- you t- yeah, reach advantage. Like, dude, the guy has a, reach, has a reach that belongs in a different weight class. Wow. 75.5 for a reach. Jeez, that's a... and his height is six three. The guy yeah, does not he's, really he's way over six two. I was gonna say six three or even six four, but just scrawny mother. I mean, I don't know how yeah. he fucking makes that division. Be a good fight. Someone's got to get uh, Joe Mama on the show. By the way, yo, hook Joe Mama on up. He's funny, man. He wants to get on the program. Someone get him on here. What did I miss, guys? I'm sorry. Oh no, we'll just talk about fights that might end up being boring. Like I mentioned, I was mentioning that the Mori Kano fight could potentially be boring. I hope not, but it could. Hmm. Mm. I'm just discussing which fight. Like we mentioned, like if I'm hoping it's a good card, but there could be a chance that it could end up the worst case scenario. It could be a boring decision fest. There I are tell a you, couple people on here. That Zhang could, could try to la- lay on Yan for five rounds, you know, and try to beat her up that way. You know, yeah. it could happen. Zhang could, you know, I mean, that could be a, it could be a barn burner. I feel like there's no in the middle for this fight. This fight could be complete fire or Zhang could nullify Yan or Yan can try to outpoint Zhang or some yeah. shit like that. So I have my w- concerns, but let's there's, see. Honestly, there's only like, there's only like two to three fights on this card that I can see could potentially be boring. Yeah. Bo Nickel is going to be good because, you know, that guy's oh, a little Bo league. Nickel is going for the kill. Yeah. There's no way. It's a complete, uh, Sadiq. Break it. This guy, this fight's gonna be good. There's no way that's gonna fucking suck. Oh, it shouldn't. He did. He had a fun fight with Barbosa last. And Lopez, being the weird emo looking fucker he is, yeah, he's gonna try to go for it mm. for some for some kills too. So, Bobby Green's fighting Jim Miller. That ain't gonna yeah. be. That's not gonna be a boring. That's fight. not gonna someone's be good. No. Someone's dying in that ring. I tell Yikes. you. But could you imagine? No, that would be nuts if the <laughs> the car just bombs. <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of, man. That's always a chance. Like, could you look at the lat? Look at the. What was it? UFC 297, the, I think it was like what the Canada card. I think it was that was a boring card. Kind yeah, of. but it was nothing like this. So I how mean, this. Is, how dare you? I mean, if Aljo gets his way, if Aljo gets his way with Cater, if Rakich gets cool. his way, you know what? Yes. <laughs> and Kayla, no, look at this. Look at this row. You just made a good point. Kayla gets away, boring. Aljo wow. has his way, boring. Rakich has his way, boring. Well, That's Holly three too. Three fights in a row. He, Holly too Either gets her way. Both of them are boring. Yeah, I don't think this fight's gonna be. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that Kayla was just entering the UFC, I would probably make this my bathroom break. But I'm I'm curious, that morbid curiosity of how Kayla will handle being in the UFC banner is the only reason I want to see this fight. I some I see someone saying they're excited for Oliveira. I think Oliveira versus Sarukian could be the fight of the night. That shit is is a banger. Oh yes, that's that's a, a that's a great one too. The fact that that's the opener. Oh. I could, I mean, that's, that is, I, you know, maybe I'm hey. crazy. Call me crazy here, but Sarukian versus Oliveira may have more interest for me than the BMF fight. And I love watching Gaethje. I love watching Holloway, but Sarukian okay. and Oliveira, there's different. I don't know. It feels different. And Moss- I, think it's, I think it's because either or who wins will be a basically go for the belt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the BMF is not guaranteed lock for the belts. I mean, if Holloway wins... If Holloway wins this fight, then this thing was a hit. You know, if Holloway please. gets the job done. Oh, God, please. That'd be I'm great. hoping so badly. I want Max. And I've seen the pictures of Max. He looks, he's getting jacked for his size. He's, he's yeah. you know, where he fought a lightweight before. He didn't take it serious enough or something because he wasn't this big at lightweight before. This time he's actually packing the pounds. Yeah, I'm rooting for Holloway. No, nothing against Justin. Justin is, uh, he's a fun dude to watch fight. Like, this guy's a beast. But... We're seeing the new improved version of Gaethje that's, you know, picking and choosing his shots a little bit better. He's not reckless like he was before. He's not the car crash like he was before. And I'm not saying he's boring, but I kind of rather see Holloway, man. I, I get the win. It would be some story. I just want to see Max go to lightweight, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I'm going to throw it out there. I think Justin just fucking treats him just like he did to Poirier, you know, plays around with him the first second round, the Kabanka ball. Oh, dude. that's gonna break. That's gonna that's gonna break my heart because the that's guy has the bounty open. hunter down, bro, and he ain't getting up. Justin <laughs> hits like like no like when he hits you, that's it, man. He's devastating when he gets 
gets on you. So, but see, that's what makes this fight interesting. Max is a record holder for strikes, and he's the guy who's never been dropped to the ground or KO'd. Yep. Mm. Yeah. So if 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 Gaethje puts his shin upside the head, and well, that'll be yeah, that'll be the other story. If Gaethje wins and he knocks out Holloway, dude, that's gonna be oh, nuts. He gets a, I th- honestly, I'll tell you right now, if if Gaethje can KO Max, he just guaranteed himself a title shot. Yeah. Yeah, and poor Max, right? Because Max, you know, he he could have had a straight shot at the 145 pound belt uh, with uh, timing. Volk losing, yeah, and then he gets knocked out by Gaethje. Yo, Max is gonna he's gonna go home and smash the shit out of that hot ass wife of his. You know, thank God he's got yeah. the hot wife at home. You know, because yeah, if he didn't, God. he'd be on a ledge somewhere. That's crazy, man. It, it, it is a <sighs> there's a lot at stake for his stupid ass BMF belt. <laughs> I mean, if you want, I mean, if you want to be perfectly honest, there's a lot of people's things are in stake. Belt, you know, on this event. I mean, you got to think about it. if Bo gets beaten on the main card, the embarrassment he's going to feel losing the Cody Brundage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, that'd be nuts. I, dude, that'd be so funny. I think Bo Nickel, look at this guy. He's a plus, he's a minus 1350. Listen, I'm going to put a small bet on Brundage just for humor. <laughs> yeah, you just got to throw the money away. If Brundage it's wins. Probably, no, I'm going to put like five, five separate bucks to see because you know the odds for his money. I think it was like plus 400 almost. Yeah, I'm having a problem rooting for Bo. I can't I can't get on the train. I think he's he, a douchebag. I think his, he's very his good. Confidence but... is, his his confidence is at the there's a difference between confident and just arrogant and he's 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 rubbing into the arrogant side. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, and right? Be, and, and he hasn't beaten no one important yet. And I like Bo Nickel to an extent, but I can acknowledge his flaws. It's what's like, wrong, what's wrong with the, what's wrong with these uh, American fighters coming in here? What's what's happening here? What's what's going on with these guys? Why are they embarrassing us? Like, but I don't know what's up with this Bo Nickel. Does anyone in the chat like Bo Nickel? Are you guys fans of him? Like, I I think the guy's got crazy skill, and he's interesting in the cage. But God, when he's interviewed, I'm like, what is this guy? He's dumb as a he seems like he's dumb as a rock, but he's clearly not, right? I mean, he went to Penn State, and well, I guess he can be terrible on the mic and everything else as long as he keeps winning. I mean, yeah. he stays relevant. But he's uh, I think you this this is going to be a tough test for him, man. You think you know, so? I see, huh? I see him. I see a bunch of upsets this card too, Moss. I see a bunch. You know what I mean? Like this, this, uh, this Charles Oliveira's and Armin fight. If the the old the uh, three or four fights ago, fucking Olives shows up, Armin's in a world of trouble, man. I think that's. I mean, we saw what he did to um, fuck. What's his name? His last fight, Dare You. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Look what Darius. happened to Dare You. Was violent. He murdered him. Yeah. That was and he did it worse. He did. I think. And you know what's funny? Right after that, his his sloppy seconds, um, the fact that uh, Armin just did worse to him. He like he's like, I'm gonna one up you, Charles. I'm gonna kill him faster. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pr- it's pretty nuts with Saruki and Diddy. Yeah, Benny is just getting run over by these guys to get these big opportunities. Uh, Saruki and does look good, man. I I still man team Charles on this. I I don't care. Oh, I'm Charles. I'm yeah. I can't. This, I'm, the main card. I'm probably pulling fifty fifty on this card if I'm going. Picks and bets. Yeah. Because I got, I mean, I'm going for Max. I'm going for Charles. Actually, you know, that's, yeah, that's probably my only Munders, really. Everyone else, I don't know. Isn't it crazy? We have UFC Atlantic City this weekend, and we're we're, we're a couple of events ahead. We're, we're talking about <laughs> UFC 300. We're like, oh, do we have I can't to? help it. It's so close. Do we have to? And and you know what? Listen, you're going. You're paying almost three grand for your tickets. So, I mean, I, I think it's fair enough. We don't know when we're going to have you back on the show. So, Hey, yeah. might as well okay, get out yeah. of the system now. Actually, what's the next card after this? The Curtis one. And oh, uh, what's for it some called? Reason, um, I, was, I, I don't know. know why in my brain, for some reason, I thought they were on this card. No. Go to show you how blended. I'm just, I'm blending the fucking fight nights. So I got to say, I mean, I think this is very interesting. Curtis got knocked him out in the first experience. But, Arnold, uh, but Alan looks like way better than he's been. I mean, he's he's in a... In the zone I'm, right now. I'm, listen, I have mixed feelings about Kurt, Curtis, but I will say this: he usually does great as an underdog. Uh yes, I agree. And he more he times has, than not, the fact that he won his last fight while being the favorite shocked me because usually he has a bad record when he's. So you jumping the on favorite. the plus? I'll probably jump on the plus, though. I don't know. Mm, thirty-six. I mean, he's thirty-six now. Yeah, that scares me. If I'm not mistaken, I think Allen came in on short notice in the first fight. Am I right or am I wrong with that? I almost remember Alan came off the couch or something or filled in last minute or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking another fight with Alan. But um I don't know. Was it this possible. fight? I, 
I'm curious. I'm trying to figure out because I feel like Alan's going to redeem himself here. Curtis I mean, isn't this fight last minute kind of? Oh, it's more for him. And yeah. Chris Curtis was more. I can't remember. But um, I tell you what, now Alan's the favorite. Curtis. I think Curtis was the underdog in the last one, too. I bet on, on him in that one. I don't know. I don't. But that's what I'm saying. When, but that's what I'm saying. Whenever Curtis is, the, he's one of those weird guys that I feel like when he's the favorite, he loses. But when he's the under, I feel like he has a better chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's he's playing with house money in this one. That's for sure. Here we got some alerts. Let's get him in. Ah, uh, super chat. Two jam with a twenty, baby. Points to Joe Moms. I came to drop bombs. I got more rhymes than the bottles got songs. <laughs> wow, what the fuck? Let's go. So, nice. whoa, look at this. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So, Joe Mama has entered the arena. So, it's $5 to get in the game, and he's going to have 15 points. So, that means he's five points away from being a co host of the program. Guys, you want to help out Joe Moms? You want to help out Joe Moms? Try to get him on the program, make his debut, drop a five, and let's get Joe Mama in. On the show, as he is in the points game, though, and he has a chance to well, win the prize. I, I'm going to go take a quick leak, but yeah. <clears throat> by the time I come back, I want to see somebody donate five bucks so this kid can get on the show, and that's all I'm going to say. Get him, get him. Come on, someone's got to flip the bill. Get Joe, Joe Mom's on the program here. Uh-oh, anonymous. Joe, is this Joe? You make him lose the fight terribly inside of the cage. Could be it. You make him spread his ass cheeks. Now you enter his backstage. And you fill it with your rage. Come on. Style bender one fight. Is he is in Psychosa? Is he is in Psychosa? Anonymous with the 450. Bo is being pushed on us too much. Love the show. Thanks, Mo's. Two joints. And Senesai. Thank you. Thank you for the... Hey, uh, no, Anonymous, are we throwing that? Are we throwing that? We could throw that right on... You know what? Fuck it. He didn't put a name Let's in there. Him. We're going to break He's the anonymous. rules. He doesn't want to show his name. That's right. Let's go, baby. <laughs> hey, listen. We're having a good time tonight. Hopefully, you guys are having fun in the chat. We have two guests. We're about to have three as we're going to put the five points to Joe Moms and give him his glorious... Entrance to the program. All right, so let's get Joe Mama on the show. I do have predictions to get to, so we will go on a little bit longer over here, um, but not much because I yeah. do have to make these predictions. Okay. Well, let me mention about this card since that's I this whole time I haven't talked about this card at all, the one that's coming up tomorrow. Okay. I think so far for this card, it's okay card for... Atlantic City, but I'll be honest with you, there's only one fight on this card I really care about. It's the Chris Wyman fight. Well, that's not, that's not true. No, that's not true. I do care about most of the main card. I just, I have a special investment in the Bruno Silva, Chris Wyman one. Interesting. Okay, so we'll, let's get to that because I uh, I got to be honest with you, I maybe it's a hot take. Hold on, let me get Joe Mama in here. Let me see. Let me send him the link. Joe Mama making his... MMA Hole's debut, I think. I don't know. I don't know if we've spoken to him before. He's been in here before. Oh, he has? I think. I don't know. I've seen him in the chat. He's very active in the chat, and I appreciate that. Uh, but I don't know if he's called in. All right, Joe Mama. Where are you, Joe Mama? Joe Mama. All right, so let's send you this. All right, Joe Mama, let me know if you got the link. I just added you as a friend, too, so... Okay. And if you got it, click it. Come on in. All right. So what Sonosi was talking about here, uh, UFC Atlantic City that's going down tomorrow. I honestly, this is, might be a hot take over here, but I think Wybin versus Silva should have been the main event. Just because it's in Atlantic City. You know what I'm saying? Chris is a legend. Chris is a former champion. I know he hasn't looked good lately. I know he was coming off that big injury. But the place is going to be buzzing when the Tom Petty song hits. And Wybin walks out to that cage. I think the place, I mean, Jersey, neighbors with New York, I think the place is going to be going crazy for Wybin over there. And then when you have the fight with, that is the main event, which there's more at stake, Blanchfield versus Fioro, I don't think you're going to get the buzz that you're going to get for the Chris Wybin fight. You know, what do you think about that, uh, Sinosi? Actually, I'm just, click, I had to click in my head for a second, thinking for a second. You're right. It makes sense. I mean, it I, might seem like I, but his thing is, 
the one with the biggest name value on that card is Weidman. Yeah. And where it's located, I mean, you know the crowd's going to be going nuts for it, you know? Yeah. He's fought in Atlantic City before, you know? So, I mean, I, I don't know. I think um, that they, I think they kind of dropped the ball on it. I understand it doesn't have the juice. Like, if you're at home and you're just casually watching this event, this has more at stake, you know? So, maybe for the viewers at home. But for the people in the building, no offense, ladies. This could be a good fight. I don't know if this is proper main event material. I'm, I'm going to say something controversial. I think Wyman wins. I tell you what, I have not made my pick yet. I'll make it at the end of this stream, but I am, I've been going back and forth. Two joints, what do you think? Who, who gets the win here? I really think Weidman pulls it out. You know what? I just think he's got it in him. Like, I mean, it's had nothing but bad luck. I'm not going to say it. There's just a million jokes you can say about his, you know, his injury, but I'm going to give him all the, the faith in the world that he wins it. Like, for wow. real. He's a legend, boss. Wow. Like, two for yep. two. Now, he did look pretty trashy, but Bruno Silva's been a pretty big up, you know, um, it hasn't really worked out. One win out of his last five, just like Weidman. Weidman. Do you know? Well, do you want to know um, Bruno's best win, which is irony considering the last fight this happened? Oh, he it, beat Brad Tavares is his best win. He KO'd him. And that's the guy that was helping Weidman out of the cage. Yeah, but there <sighs> is a huge but. Um, he's got his ass kicked by people like Mearshard being choked on stuff, and guess and Brandon Andel who beat him on the ground too. And yeah. guess what Wyman's specialty is? Yeah. Grappling. Yeah, so yeah, it's Wyman's like, bigger. well, that's. I think he's good. I honestly, if Oof. Wyman's gonna win, it's gonna be by dirty boxing and just grappling him to the ground. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be boring. But he needs this win if it might be his retirement. Do you think Wyman's gonna check any kicks? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna be trying to shoot. Man. Not too too far and he doesn't want to take a chance of his legs anymore i think i think this fucking bruno silver might try to chop him down fuck his legs up again like i mean the the key to victory the path to victory is there is break his legs basically. Oh, yeah fucking hell man. Oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a brazilian so you know he knows soccer justin i love the holy triumphant try great banner but add the juice to the young fella add the juice all right and by the way we're gonna bring to the program right now Live on the MMA holes, ladies and gentlemen, Yo. let's introduce Joe Mama. Hi. <laughs> wow. Awesome, Nothing. What are you guys doing? I'm oh, just sitting here chilling, getting baked, bro. <laughs> What's up, Joe Mama? Nothing. I just got back from uh, the BKSC fights. Very nice. Oh. All right, so tell us about it. How'd you like it? All of the fights were really good, I thought. The... Unfortunately, though, the the John Dodson fight, it was a draw. No! Was, yeah, it was a draw. It was a really close fight, but it was a draw for sure. Oh, wow. So you had the Ninja Turtle outfit on, and or Turtle outfit, whatever the hell. The whole, yeah. Oh. Man, you don't go to bare knuckle to see a draw? That's crazy. What's the odds of that? I, I know, and every, nobody thought that was going to happen. Everybody was super surprised. How many rounds was it? It was five two-minute rounds. Wow, odd rounds and somehow a draw. So there was a 10-8 round involved in there? Yeah, there, I think so. I'm not sure how boxing is scored, but there was a couple of knockdowns. Okay, oh, okay, yeah. So it probably was 10-8 or something. Wow. Yeah. Who who got knocked down? Um, Both of them. Really? But yeah, that would do it. <laughs> I think uh, Dawson got dropped more, but he was in control more of most of the fight. Wow, holy cow. Yeah. So I guess they're going to run that back. How was the buzz in the crowd? <laughs> It was really loud. Everybody was cheering. One time I tried to uh, tell them you suck, but my voice cracked and I sounded stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so humiliated. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, Albuquerque, you tried, right? Man. You made the effort. That's the most important thing you tried. <laughs> yeah. New Mexico? Yeah, yeah. I live here. Oh, okay. So uh, did you see like, uh, was like Taylor Starlin in the crowd or Christy <laughs> Perea, any of these girls? I didn't see. I didn't see nobody. No I didn't Ben see nobody Rothwell. That I could recognize. Mm, I think I was just a little bit too far in the nosebleeds oh, to see anybody. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't see the event. Anyone watch it live in the chat? Let me know if you, if there was anyone there. But I, I tell you what, BKFC. As much as you know, I, I've had my issues, whatever. But when we've sent media there, they they've all raved about it. Said they actually put on a real fun night of fights. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. violent. The crowd gets rowdy. How is the crowd? The crowd was it was crazy. Everybody was going wild. The people in front of us were screaming. And they smelled weird. It what did they crazy. smell like? What they they smelled like uh, like hot wings. 
<laughs> it's like barbecue hot wings. <laughs> I feel like hot. Well, it's better than hot dogs, right? That would have been a lot worse. Yeah, that would be a lot worse. Man, oh man. What kind of sauce, Jamie? Like Frank's Red Hot Sauce, or like teriyaki or honey mustard? Like, what? What did it really smell like, bro? Kind of like a like a barbecue or like a like a Louisiana hot kind of thing. Okay. Oh, good lord. Oh. <laughs> uh, would you go back to a BKFC event? Oh yeah, for sure. It was yeah. so fun. Yeah, it's a shame that they got rid of our media credentials because I could have just sent you there with that. But yeah. they're pricks. Um, okay, well, good. I'm glad you had a good time. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, Joe Mama here. Uh, is this your first time coming on? I can't remember. I've never been on the Fuka Friday ones, but I've been on the just the Collins oh, okay. right, occasionally. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and how long have you been in a May hole for? I think around the last October. Oh, okay, so fairly new to yeah. the program over here. Good stuff. Good yeah. Stuff. Um, what do you think about Sonosi and having all the belts? I think it's pretty cool. I like his all of his songs. Yeah, he, he's got... I, I listen to them on replay. Oh, See, Sonosi, <laughs> I'm not full of shit. Everybody likes your jam, bro. Quit I'm whining. So sorry for the, I, I'm so sorry they like those songs. But <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> we might have to change the donation song to that, Sonosi. We might have to do it. <laughs> I hear no, moaning or no. something. What's going on? I heard some. It sounds like oh, a, it's yeah. um, it's uh, the neighbor across the yard. Uh, she's like messed up and she sings all the time at night. <laughs> oh God! He's I got swear. the voice of an angel, bro. Like let her, bro, let her sing. It's Stop it's every talent. night. It's literally every night. Nice. That is a messed up woman across the street singing. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure she killed her son because her son died like last week. Oh. So she's, yeah, so she's wailing in the middle of the night. Is she like she must be sobbing the loss of her kid then, what? right? No, she's been doing this for like five years before. What? <laughs> yeah, she's crazy. Move, bro. <laughs> now you know why John Jones is on all the drugs and out in New Mexico. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, you've been in New Mexico your whole life. Yeah, yeah, I've lived here. I tell you, we, we passed through it when we did the cross country thing. There's some nice parts of New Mexico. Uh, clearly, there's some bad parts too. But I mean. There's some nice areas yeah. over there. Yeah, I guess it depends on where, where you go. Like yeah. uh, in Albuquerque, where like the main city is pretty much, it's, yeah. it gets pretty bad. But in Los Lunas, right south of it, it's pretty good. Have you have you passed by Jackson Wink over there? Ever pop in that gym? Mm -mm. No? You should go in there mm -mm. and say, hey, I, I know Devin Clark and I know the Emma I've Mills. I've met Bones a couple times, though. Oh, have you? Yeah. He, he, he was always nice. He would always get people like drinks or whatever. So where'd you meet him? I I just met him up. Uh, um, where was it? Um, it was at the mall. And he's buying drinks at the mall. Well, uh, well, for me it was just like a, like a soda. Oh, okay. So because so, I was like fifteen. Oh, but, okay. So so all right. So he's he's so he meets fans and he says, "Hey, you guys yeah. thirsty?" <laughs> he, no, he's a... actually really. Not, he, he did the same thing uh, with my dad in a, in a strip club. No, he, he got my. Yeah, he got my dad some uh, some uh, beer in a strip club. Did he give him a dance too, or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine that kind of story. Yeah, I, met, I saw John Jones at the strip club, and he bought me a lap dance. So he got you got your you pop beer. Wow, look at that. Is your dad there or no? No, I actually went. I was with him though with the BKFC fights, but oh, okay. he, he left. Oh, gotcha. Is he gotcha. At the bar right now or what? <laughs> He's with John Jones right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy's a player, bro. <laughs> it's getting coked up with bones right now. That's crazy, man. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. I've I've heard myself though too. Like guys that uh, have been with the gym with him, good friends of John. They say you go out and party with him. He's flipping the bill for the night. Like he's he's that fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. he'll he's he's a pretty nice guy. Man, I would love to party with John Jones. That'd be amazing. Oh you know? God. Could you imagine what that would be like? Be party such with... big trouble. Oh that my would be god. So much fun, man. It'd be so much. Fun. I would love it. Just one night with bones. You know. Um. <laughs> Anyway, he'll probably choke me out and kill me. And, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Any other uh, fighters you ever run into? Um, personally, no, but I know my uncle has met Holly Holmes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You think Jones smashed her or no? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, too. I think John I was it. balls deep in Holly Holm. What do you think, two joints? <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Absolutely. <laughs> there was a little there was a little space and time and everybody knows it where they were pretty chummy chummy and uh, I'm pretty sure they they made the connection. Oh yeah. 
Sonosu, yeah. you think they smashed? Probably, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> he was like calling her a goddess. He's like calling her a goddess. Sonosu, would you smash Holly home? Hell no. No, you wouldn't? Okay. All right, listen. Um, I gotta. We'll be here all night if I don't end this points game. So this is what I'm gonna do. You guys got 15 minutes left in you, or is that too much time? What do you say? Too little. Too little time. Okay, we're gonna have to get on earlier next time. Here we go. We got on the clock. We're gonna put because I got to do the predictions. We'll talk a little bit of uh, UFC Atlantic City with Joe Mama over here. But uh, here we go. Time is up. When the time is done, the points game will be over. Right now, the Mystical Moss in first place. We got Joe Mama here. Conrad trying to defend his belt, but he needs a little help. We got two joints and Sonosi tied at 30, and we still have spots available if you want to come on or you want to just be in the game in a shot at winning the pillow. Joe Mama, what would you do with this Connor pillow if you if it landed on you? I'd probably uh, take a picture of it or take a picture with it and post it on Instagram. There you go. Okay, that's good. If you have one of the Fuko Friday or if any or maybe the goat milk belt, would you ru walk around with the belt proudly over your shoulder? <laughs> Especially at like fight events for sure. Okay. So Joe Mom is nice. a team player like Sonosi. I like that. Good. This All right. guy's got a good attitude, Moss. He's a keeper. That's right. Yeah. Seems like actually I gotta say this. I've noticed that Joe Mama, when we finish with streams, he puts comments in there. I notice he likes Gummy Gang. He's a fan of the Gummy Gang, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gang, gummy gang, yeah. What do you like? Gummy gang or the MMA holes? Which channel is better? Be honest. It depends. Ooh. But it I think <laughs> Whenever you do like games like Jackbox or AI, or you yeah. do AI, <laughs> this is goaded. It's the best. Okay. Yeah, it's the best. But gotcha. I, I guess Hell Divers isn't my thing. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I mean, it's still, it's still cool to watch. You sure. know what it is with Hell Divers? I I get it because it's like I'm I'm kind of in another world, so I can't like you know we can't banter much, you know. Uh, so mm -hmm. I get it. I understand. All right. Um, what do you think about the fights this weekend? You're consuming UFC Atlantic City. Me? Yeah. Are you watching it? Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'll be watching it the whole time, but I, I don't really care about the fights, but I'll okay. have some bets in, so I'll have something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Who, who, is your, who would you say is your favorite uh, fighter? Without a doubt, Oliveira. Oh, Charlie Olives, okay. Oh, yeah. So you're rooting And then behind, yeah. behind that is Jan Blachowicz, so. Whoa, that's out of left field. Jan Blachowicz, what, what's the reasoning? Yeah. He was just my first favorite fighter because I remember he, uh, whenever they did an event here in Albuquerque like a couple years ago, um, Jan Blahovich flatlined Corey Anderson. And I fell in love after that. That was a pretty sick one. Jan had some pretty badass moments in his career. He did. There were some duds, but pretty badass moments. What did you think when he beat Izzy? You were probably pretty pumped about that, right? Oh, bro, bro. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. But I was so sad whenever he lost to Glover. I, yeah. I almost I almost cried. <laughs> I was uh see I was on the other side of it. Man, I was just gloating like a motherfucker because my my prophecy came true. And I was like, "Holy shit, Glover pulled it off for me. Like I really needed that W and it happened." But I understand, man. Jan Blahovic seems like a really cool dude, you know, on top of yeah. being a solid fighter. So I get it. <laughs> but you you know, I it's refreshing to hear people say, "Hey, my favorite fighter is Jan Blahovic." Usually you're hearing the generic same fighters. So it's refreshing yeah. hearing that. Sonosi, who would be your favorite fighter? God, that's that's tricky. So many of the people who I really enjoy have retired, so it's very hard to say. Okay. Active would be Blanchfield? Heh. <laughs> Fioro? Definitely not. I'm Jeff just trying Tolina? to actually think who would actually... You know what? I'm actually really growing to enjoy um, Shavkat right now. Yeah, Shavkat's a beast. Okay. And what about you two joints? GSP Moss all day. What about active? Oh, active. There ain't good Canadians. I'm sorry. Mallot lost to Neil. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was Jeez, that's that's almost a tough one. That's almost a tough one, Moss. I mean, uh, there's obviously no Canadian talent anymore. I mean, the, the women's uh, side is, seems to be more talented than the men right now. So. <laughs> that's sad. Would it be Ian Gary? <laughs> I'd have to say Gaethje. <laughs> Gaethje, okay. I think he's headed for big things. You know what? I think it's no joke that he just completely crushed Poirier. And I, and I keep saying it, and I'm going to say it again. He's going to hammer Holloway. And I'm either going to be right or I'm going to be wrong, but I'm going to go by my pick, and that's the way it's going to go. Well, you're in the majority. It does seem like a lot of people are riding Gaethje in that fight. Um, and and yeah. I understand why. I do understand why. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to convince myself that Max is going to win. 
Like, just so I can throw it out there, but I'm having a tough time doing it. Joe Mama, who do you think wins the BMF fight? BMF fight? I think Gaethje kills him. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm rooting for Holloway, but I think Gaethje wins. Yeah. Yeah, every time, like, I close my eyes, I'm like, okay, what's the outcome? I just see Max with a very bloody, swollen face. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to find the angle for Holloway. I'm going to, I'm going to try to go for it, but I'm having I'm worried, time. what I'm worried about with a good possibility, we're going to get a Tony Ferguson scenario. Tony Ferguson? Because of how, well, you saw how much of a beating Tony took before they finally stopped the fight. Yeah. It's going to take everything in Gaethje's power to knock him out. And he's going to get slaughtered. If if it goes Gaethje's way, we're going to see brutality, and it's going to probably be like till near the end of the fight that Gaethje just crumbles if that happens. I don't see him getting flash KO'd in like one round. Okay. Or two. I think it takes a lot to play that shit. Well, hold on. I'm going to slip through the cracks here, Sinosi. Sneaky bastard, you. Ten minutes left in a points game. Jay Barton. Points to Joe Mama. Whoa! Sook off everyone. Joe Mama, you got in love. Thanks. Thanks. Seven points. Okay. Who, who was that from? That was from Jay Barton coming out of the Thanks, woodwork. Thanks, Jay Barton. Look, you got, a, um, you got supporters here. This is good stuff. So Joe Mama now with 27 points, getting closer to spinning the wheel. Could you imagine your first ever Fuko Friday and you spin the wheel? That would be, that would be cool. awesome. Okay, so you're getting closer. we got nine minutes left. Do not wait till the last second. If you want a specific person to win, throw points in their direction. The person that wins spins the wheel. The Connor Pillow still on the wheel. And by the way, Joe Mama, what would you think of Roadhouse? <laughs> I loved it. I laughed the whole time. There we go. Right. I loved it. Kid Knox enter the UFC. I just watched a what? movie reviewer just rip apart Roadhouse. Like this kid was like so angry at it. I'm like, bro, it's not that serious. It's Roadhouse for God's sake. So like, chill. So what would you think of it? I was laughing for it's half so the movie. Funny. You know which half? Yeah, people were like really upset with McGregor, like re like mad about how bad of an I actor. loved it. It's like, bro, man. It's so bad. It was good territory. Like, exactly. For his first movie, he did awesome for a so first movie. Funny. I heard that Godzilla. Looked, Go ahead. I was like, especially for that after credit scene. Yeah, like, funny of course they did that. No spoilers, Sinosi. How dare you? There's an after credit scene. Oh yeah. Well, I don't want to yeah, say. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah well, it's, go it's, back and check it after this. It's not like all the way after the credits. Oh shit! You probably you missed the one of the funniest parts. It's like oh. just a couple of credits roll, and then you know, scene mid credit. Up. It's usually like the mid credit kind of scenes, like they go yeah. through the list of people, and then. They show that scene and then they go through the rest, like the staff and all the everyone else. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, it's it's very predictable. I predicted it. Like I think a lot of people will predict it when you see. It, you'd be like, yeah, I kind of figured that was gonna happen. Uh, but the way they did it, it's pretty funny. Anyway, um, what else we got? What else we got? Seven minutes left in the points game. There's so many things to talk about. Joe, Mama, is there anything on your chest that you want to get off? Um, I think that Oliveira. Is the goat? Ooh, Charlie Olives is the goat. Okay, why? Why would you say that? I don't know his backstory. He was wasn't he like literally paralyzed at one point? I tell you, he's got one of the craziest stories. And um, is that girl still moaning in the background? <laughs> I can hear it. I didn't <laughs> yeah. want to say that. I was like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> is there any way? Is uh, is there any way we could see this woman without doxing where you live? Is there a, a way we can? I I I don't even care about the doxing. I don't even think. She she might kill me. <laughs> I wonder if there's yeah. a safe way. <laughs> you know what? He should go next to her and record her. If he dies, that would be content you get forever, Moss. Can we get a better oh, guys, listen? Can you guys keep it down? She's singing the soundtrack to the Titanic, for fuck's sake. Yeah, what is she singing? Can you hear? make out what she's singing? You can never tell what she's singing. It could be four different songs at once. Damn, so she's just wailing all night long. Yeah, it, it literally. You'll, you'll go on to like four in the morning. That's crazy. Ugh. And the worst part is that whenever she does it, she's like, she's outside and she's sitting on her bench or she's standing at the door looking out, like directly at my house too. Oh, so fuck it's, no. It's so creepy. <laughs> you gotta go to a different neighborhood. You're gonna get murdered <laughs> let, this, these days. Let, let this girl cook right now. She's singing. Hold on. Damn she it, stopped. She, she, she knew that we were listening. She must be watching, yeah. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's crazy, man. 
Holy, how how old is this woman? Approximately. I, I think she's like 50, maybe 60. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. you can take her. You should be able to take her. But if she's should messed be. up, but if she's messed up and crazy, I don't know. Oh, wait, there you go. That scared the hell out of me. I'm afraid someone editing team, Kainoto, I know you're around. You got to edit a picture <laughs> of him with, with her behind her. Like, That'd be creepy as fuck. Hold on, so be quiet for a second here. That's every night? Every night. Every single night. It sounds like a gigantic mountain lion. <laughs> That's craziness, man. So what do your parents think about this? <laughs> well, I'm actually at my grandma's house, but oh, every okay. time my every time my grandma like hears her screaming, because she'll do it in the middle of the day too. It's not like exclusive at night. <laughs> oh, she 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 literally yells at her. She's like, shut the F up. <laughs> your grandma just <laughs> starts screaming at her. I mean I don't blame but her. She, yeah, and she still doesn't stop. Dude, that's. Do you ever have nightmares about this shit? Like, I'm about to have a nightmare. <laughs> Just thinking about this is creepy as fuck. <laughs> no, I never had a nightmare. <laughs> I'm sure I will. One of these oh days, she's God. gonna pop. She's gonna, she's gonna knock on your window. <laughs> Did your grandmother ever think about like maybe moving from here? Saying, "Okay, this is a little nuts." No. 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 She's, she's gonna sink with the ship, huh? Mm. Fucking hell, man. That's crazy. There's got to be something like authorities can do about that because that's kind of isn't there like like there's some sort of disturbing complaints. There's yeah. got to be like a noise thing that can be done, right? I mean, we shut this bitch up. I'm sure, but I I'm pretty sure people are just terrified over. It. They don't even want to mess with it. Yeah, what, any any law law enforcement in the chat uh <laughs> can 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 help me out here and 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 figure out what this guy could do about this this crazy lady. <laughs> Dude, I carry a gun, and I, I have a gun in my house, and I still wouldn't want to fuck with that. That shit doesn't sound... That sounds supernatural. <laughs> it doesn't sound natural at all. I've seen enough horror movies. <laughs> no. She's probably possessed by the devil or some shit. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Right whenever you said that, my door right in front of me just moved. So oh, do you so have sorry. your window closed right now? I'm outside. Oh, you're outside. Oh, okay. I can't even see where oh, the hell yeah. you are. Okay, so if you're inside, you can't hear this. Not really. I mean, you could kind of hear it. I wonder. Like through the windows, but a little. Not mm. not too much. We gotta get him to ring the doorbell. Joe, mom, you want to ring the doorbell real quick? Jesus <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Christ, Moss. We want him to be on the show again. We just don't want this to be lost. <laughs> There's a part of me. I'll send you a T-shirt if you ring the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> That's not worth losing my life over. I'll, I'll, I'll donate you a hundred dollars. Will you, Sinosi? Will you give him a hundred? I'll give him a hundred if he. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'll, I'll, I'll trip the T-shirt. <laughs> oh Should my get god! Me before I rang the doorbell. Oh my god! This is great. I could listen. I, I wish I had an edible in me right now. I I'd be you all see, over uh, this. Um, this the Blair wild. Rich Project. That's how it end. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Put man. Phone on the side. No, no, no. Um, that movie Quarantine when the girl gets dragged. By her feet in the end of the movie, that's what's gonna happen to him if he goes there. Does she live with anyone besides her kids? Besides the one that oh, she, she killed? may yeah, have yeah. killed. I, I don't think so, but I think there's a lot of people that go over a lot. Okay, make sure she, she's still she, breathing, maybe. And she hasn't yeah. killed them yet. Okay. Holy <laughs> shit, man. She's, she's probably wears her son's face or some shit. <laughs> Bro. Did you hear that? Oh, hell no. Oh, it's getting worse. She might be getting closer. She, she might be heading towards you. So it's mad. Might be hell. Yo, yeah. Dude, yeah. Do you have like a bat or something? Shit. <laughs> you better break get a weapon, man. She's gonna come <laughs> and charging you. And then I know her before we end the show. Like, I'm gonna get you, bro. Yo, bro jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's scary as fuck. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Do you have a license? Can you drive? Get, run her over or something in case she gets there. I can't even have a license. Fucking hell, dude. You got like You're a fucked. quad or something? You could just like <laughs> just run right over. Hit her with a shovel. You got a shovel out there? I'm sure I can find something. <laughs> you need a weapon, man. Dude, I feel like I need a, I'm a Hit her with the barbecue, bro. You look pretty strong. Just fucking <laughs> yeah, grab the barbecue, barbecue. over her. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, this is crazy, man. All right, well, listen, we got a minute left in the points game. Poor Joe Mom is going to perish in front of our very eyes. Uh, there's the score. I'm going to leave this up over here. Uh, if you want Joe Mama to get the win, the poor guy is possessed. Uh, two joints. 
Uh, the man looking for the win. Comrade trying to go three weeks in a row. Sinosi got all the belts. He, you know, he would look nice with the Connor pill. Would you bring the Connor pill to Vegas if you win, Sinosi? I might. Be you, comfortable. <laughs> and Mystic Moss trying to keep that pillow in studio. We got a minute left. We don't know if it's even going to land on the pillow, but it's on the wheel. <laughs> Good luck to everyone. Under a minute in the game. Thank you for all the donations. I want to thank my co-hosts over here. The prediction portion of the show. I mean, we're not going anywhere. Uh, well, my my guests, I'll, I'll, I'll let them off the hook. And poor Joe Mama, I'm going to send the police over there. But 45 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Good luck, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's crazy, I'm man. Look, I'm focusing on, on Joe Mama streaming. I'm just waiting to see if she pops up or I see Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. Scared the shit out of me. Uh-oh, hold on a second. Sure. Like 28 saying. seconds left. Lucas 8 with the 750. He's got a penis down there. And I like what Let's I'm add the points saying. to the Joe Mama. He's got a penis <laughs> down there. Second place, six seconds left. He's got a penis down there, and I like what I see. see. P -P. Lucas. Thank you, Lucas B. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Points to Joe Mama. Okay. Now the time has expired. The question is this Did another donation slip in, or does the score stay? The way it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to let you know in a second. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. I want to thank Joe Mama for popping in and the ghost. Sinosi and the two belts. Two joints. Stoned. Uh, two joints. How are you feeling right now? Oh, absolutely tremendous, bro. It's been a good show. It had a nice flow to it. We talked a lot about the fights. It was cool. Yes, definitely enjoyed it. But I, right now, I'm going to tell you whether the game has moved or does it stay the same. What do you guys think? Did someone slip in? I don't think so, Moss. I, I think you've got enough room for a coffee mug in the cupboard. So, <laughs> uh, listen, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be perfect, honest. I thought for a second I saw something reflected through that window. Really? Hold on, let's check it outside out. for let's Joe. See. Let's freak him out. I was right. concerned for I was concerned for you for my I could have saw I saw a silhouette of some shit. You're crazy, bro. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, let's see. Right, I watch a lot of horror movies. So that doesn't help. All right, hold I just this thing. Uh, is it the same? What the fuck, oh, bro? Yeah. Oh, oh you, have an angel, you have a fucking angel thing right now? What is oh, that? Yeah. The fuck is that? What did you just, what was that, an angel? Yeah, oh shit, I don't even know how to use this thing. Oh I'd my god, What dude. the fuck? And then something popped up. Ah! Yo! <laughs> bro! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking horror movie right now. Dude, that's insane. What is it? So, I, so your grandma's pretty religious then, I, I see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you should be safe then. Damn, Demons just, can't go into that house. It's got well, weird angels. I'm outside, just... so who knows? Fucking hell, dude. Good call. <laughs> I would invite my friends over. Like, do you <laughs> invite friends over to your grandmother's house to listen to the crazy lady outside? <laughs> dude, I would do it all the time. Like when I was a kid, I would I would literally I would go to graveyards and do weird like tell ghost stories. And there was a lady that had a blue painted house. The whole house was blue. The yard was painted blue. Everything was blue. She was batshit crazy. We would hop the fucking gate, bring the doorbell, be idiots. Poor lady was crazy. But um, so you don't invite anyone over to 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 enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh shit, man. I don't blame. I would, dude. I would. I would 100 invite people over. I would charge, charge people. Charge yeah. tickets five dollars. <laughs> cheap enough up there. Lawn chair and all. <laughs> Could you imagine? Your grandma gets the cut. You know, you just have a fucking roped off section with some seats. <laughs> Hand out popcorn. Yeah, I think you should do it. It's a good business. All right. Well, anyway, uh, the game is over, and Mystic Moss gets the win, baby. Damn. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a a you good, well. good effort there. A good effort. Lucas tried to come in help out Joe Mama. Very nice. But D Res got me over the finish line. I want to thank everyone for stopping by uh, the show. I'm going to do this spin real quick over here, and then we'll say our goodbyes. But what a show tonight. I had a blast hanging with this uh, co-host group. You guys have been great. Blast with the community. But we did not get into the picks yet. So when I let everyone go, we're going to get into the picks portion of the show. Let's spin. Let's spin this fucking wheel over here. Okay, let's do this. So, Mommy, you got a cold over there? What's going on? Yeah. Okay. Get better. I hope you get... You have COVID? You got the Rona? Like, what's happening? I might. I've been, like, 
every time I've been smoking, like my throat like tastes weird. Cigarettes you know or I mean? or the uh, the naughty stuff. Mm, both. <laughs> both. Both. Okay. Right. How, wait, Joe, mama, how old are you again? Seventeen. Oh fuck! You're just God, a kid, man. bro. Yo, you don't huh? get away from those cigarettes, man. Why are you smoking cigarettes? What's that about? Well, I I don't I don't do that too. I only do it like maybe. Maybe one week or so. Yeah. I don't do it too much. Listen, you're still young. Save the lungs. Yeah, you can smoke weed in here and there. I, who am I to judge on that? Because, you know, whatever. But the cigarettes, try to dump that shit, man. Don't get in. Don't get locked up with that. Because once you get a good routine with that, it's tough to kick, man. It's really rough. Yeah. Smoke for two years. It was a rough thing. Yeah, you, you can quit. do it, Joe Mama. I know. I have faith in you. But anyway, who am I? I'm just giving you advice here. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's spin the wheel. Thank you once again to everybody. <laughs> We're going to spin it right now. Please, for the love of God, can I get that Connor pillow? Let's go, champs. <laughs> Oof, I'm fucking nervous. It's going to be a trucker tank top, Ma. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> I could use a tank. By the way, new tanks hit the store. Get swole tanks. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Let's see. I'm fucking nervous. Oh, oh, get it. Oh, oh, so close. And... Uh, I'm I'm not saying anything. Congratulations, <laughs> boss. A win's a win, bro. Damn you, too, Joe. Uh, you know. <laughs> Damn you. So that close. Was... Well. Damn, it was right there. It's right there. I could use a mug. I could use a mug. All right, whatever. I'll get myself a mug. Uh, listen, guys. You guys have been fantastic. Next time we gotta get your mama on earlier. You've been a, a gem of a co-host. Two joints and Sonosi will go around the room. Over here, uh, final words, Joe Mama. Um, Oliver is the best, and bye. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Joe Mama. Uh, Sinosi. Um, whatever's happening with you, Sausage, I hope all is well. I saw whatever happened in Discord. I just hope, you know, you hang in there, man. Okay, there we go. And two joints. I uh, don't want to end on a sour note, but... See you quite a bit of haters on the chatter tonight. And you and me, Chris, have both had a tough day. And I'm glad I showed up, and I'm glad you showed up. And this was a distraction, and the haters can suck my fucking balls. And I love this channel. So. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Well said. You bet. All right, guys. Thank you for coming on. We'll see you next time. There they are. The MMA Holes Proof Off Friday co-host. Hey, I got to say this. I actually had a very good time chatting with the co-hosts over there, but it's not over. Oh, wait, it's not over. We're going deep because we still have to make the predictions for UFC uh, Atlantic City. We're going to watch the weigh-ins, the uh, ceremonial, whatever, face-offs. We're going to watch that. We're going to throw in the picks. So stick around. Grab yourself a coffee. After this break, we'll come right back and we will get to the predictions portion of the show. Thank you to all the donators. And if you still want to donate, remember Streamlabs Super Chat is the way. Hit the like button as well. We'll be right back. After this quick break, stick around. Wonderful, wonderful. And hopefully, uh, hopefully, Joe Mama survives the uh, wailing ghost. Very creepy.
number to one po. All right. I'm on a banana. Okay. We do the predictions now. Let's get to business. Let's see if we can make some. Let's see if we can win. That'd be nice, right? So UFC Atlantic City is tomorrow. I'm actually, listen. The reason why I'm actually excited about this card is because it's in Atlantic City. I, I think that's great. I don't understand why the UFC has not been in AC for how long. You know, when was the last time they were in Atlantic City? Years ago. So I'm glad they're back over there. Uh, the return of Chris Weidman is always interesting for me. And the main event, uh, I have some interest as well. Uh, before I get into that, we do have a new sponsor called Dubby. But I'm only going to drop the link if it's good. <laughs> so this is the product. Has anyone ever tried this? They sent us this shaker and some samples, and I'm going to try a whole bunch of their stuff. But basically, it's like an energy drink, but it's like a clean energy drink. A lot of them say, oh, we're clean, we're clean. But apparently, the caffeine comes from a fruit or something. I don't know. So I'm going to look into this a little bit. Um, they also have a uh, zero sugar electrolyte thing that makes, I'm very interested in for fasting or if you just want to have, you know, the electrolytes without having to worry about having sugar in there. So I'm going to try Dubby. Uh, let me know in the chat if you've ever tried it before and what do you think about the product? And if it is good, I'll drop the link in the description and then you guys will get a little discount on that. But, um, we shall see. I noticed a lot of gamers have linked up with them. And the only reason why we've reached out is because, uh, well, one, we need to get paid. And two, their product is actually looks like it's a, a nice alternative from all the crappy stuff out there. So I was actually surprised when I, when I read what was in it compared to these other energy drinks that were literally killing people. <clears throat> so I kind of feel good about that. All right. All righty. I make lemonade. Canceled that shit. I did. They spent a few hundred dollars uh, real quick though. What are we talking about here for sure? Or oh, they used to be I hear They've gone downhill. All right. We got a conversation. What is the perfect drink? I, I drink water constantly. I'm always drinking water. But every once in a while you need electrolytes. And sometimes you need a little pick me up. And if you don't want to drink coffee all the time. You want caffeine. Or you want to spill the water all over yourself. She started singing again. Oh my God, dude. I tell you what. Just do a YouTube channel of her singing, wailing in the middle of the night. I mean, that would be phenomenal. Dude, that's crazy, man. That was really nuts. That, lady, that poor lady, and she lost her kid, too. Well, if she killed him, then I guess I don't feel so bad for her. How many fights do we have on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen fights? Bro. Chill. Fourteen fights? Romero Santiago. Romero was Romero Santiago the one in Gummy Gang? Well, if you were, I see you in the super chat. It'll pop up in a sec. Thank you so much. We'll let that play. Fourteen fights on this card? Oh my god. Oh god, help me. Well, we're opening up with a banger because this crazy bastard, the Irish kid, um, I really hope this kid wins because he's got that it factor. He's got that weird ass like square jaw. He's hilarious. Um, he's got a fun style to watch fight. He did lose his last fight. I think that was his debut, right? Yeah, that was his debut from Cage Warriors. Uh, a very underwhelming performance. And you got Pacheco over here. He lost in the Contender Series. Pacheco legit is put... Man, he's put here to take an L. 5'8", so he's a little taller, a little longer, 70-inch reach. Minnesota, start BJJ. Yeah, I feel like Pacheco is literally put here to lose this fight. But let me pull up. Let's pull up the face-offs and see what we got. <clears throat> and we'll look for some bets to put together. Uh, but There's Jack. Romero. How you doing, Romero? Thank you. So Romero, Romero, you still having problems uh, typing your comments in there? What's going on? But thank you so much for the donation. I think that is the same person from Gummy Gang. Hell yeah, baby. UFC. 
see Atlantic City. By the way, guys, make sure you have the notification bell rung so when we have the Atlantic City card uh, ready to go, stream scheduled, you'll be properly notified about that. <clears throat> okay, here we go. UFC... Face-offs. Let's take a peek. All right, everybody! They always have it backwards. I wonder why they do that. They start off with the main event. All right, let's see. Where's Squarehead? <laughs> this kid's funny, man. This kid's freaking hilarious. I'm pretty sure I'm picking him, but... Although, he kind of has a very sloppy style. Anyone going with the under on this? I think Pacheco's there to lose. But then again, listen. It's, it's a big opportunity for Ch Pacheco. All right. All right. How about that kid? He he had respect. He wasn't a complete penis. The other guy was talking shit. Gave him a little pat on the arm. Says, eh. Angel Pacheco. He's a plus 290. Almost a plus 300 underdog. Bigger. A little longer. Two inches. What do you guys think? I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick this dude. Let's see. He lost. I'll say this kid's going to win by decision. I'm just uh, hoping because the kid is a lot of fun, man. This kid's got like the look. Oh, shit. I'm not even showing you the screen. Whoopsies. Sorry, guys. I'm just talking to myself. And I'm not even high. Here we go. I showed you nothing. Yeah, let's take a look again. Completely did not show you guys what was going on. Here we go. Yeah, a little respect at the end. Guy's got his flag. Let's see him hit the stage. Hold on. They give him a proper ceremonial weigh-in, too. It, I, I mean, it's a fight night, but it's going to feel a little bigger. Just because of... It's in Atlantic City. Yeah, okay. I got, I'm got. going to go decision on that. Anyone taking the under? Opening up. All right. Sacrificial lamb. It does seem like that, right? Super chat. Hey, Romero again. Come on, Romero. I sure was. I saw him the most money yesterday when you were playing the video game. Thank you, Romero. Hey, man, you were fucking savage. Romero, how long have you been watching the MMA holes or Gummy Gang? How long have you been watching us? That's very kind of you. Hey, I appreciate it. Today was tax day, so I appreciate all the donations. I mean, they were phenomenal because uh, I, I can't get over how much taxes are. It's nuts. Damn tax man got us today. Tax man got us again. Got the Irish on parlay in my fantasy lineup. All right, Jason. All right, let's go, Jason. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm a little afraid to parlay it. We'll see. I got to stop parlaying, man. I got to cut that shit out. Uh, Petrosky versus Malcoon. The Coon. Uh, Petrosky coming off the Michelle Pereira loss, which doesn't. It kind of aged her, right? Michelle Pereira looks like unstoppable right now. Beat Mearshart. Terman. Maximov. Not in the UFC anymore. Who uh, lost to Cody Brundage. Not a, it's okay. Lost. Beat Maximov as well. Man, Maximov. These guys are both Maximov's daddy. Lost to Brendan Allen. That's not bad. Wow. I tell you, man. These guys, it's not like they lost to bad dudes. This is a pretty interesting fight. So Petrosky's six foot, 73 inch reach, and then 5'9", 73 inch reach. So big height difference, but exact same reach. Petrosky walking around like a Tyrannosaurus Rex and Malcoon walking around like his knuckles are going to scrape the ground. All right, let's take a look at this. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Doesn't look that much bigger here. How is he... Uh, they must have shoes on. I tell you what. Am I crazy for not hating Petrosky in this fight? The Australian is a minus 250. Uh, split decision, Mearshart. Wellington Terman. Maximov submitted him. What do you do with Maximov? Maximov, uh, unanimous decision. I uh, lost to Brendan Allen. I tell you what, I don't hate Petrosky in this fight. Am I nuts? 28 years old, 32. Am I losing my mind? Why am I not hating Petrosky in this fight? What do you guys think? I think I might roll the dice on him. Instead of parlaying, I think I'm going to go straight up bets this time. Petrosky looks like he's in great shape. I 
I mean, he's got funny hair. <laughs> Philly? He's from Philly, Australia. Two tough son of a bitches. All right, I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little roll of the die. Andre Petrosky. I'm gonna say decision. Yeah, I'm gonna go decision, and I'm gonna my bookie him. I mean, listen, who who knows? You gotta be in it to win it. All right, so let's refresh this. We're gonna get some action, baby. Malcolm by decision. Listen, I like the the oh, fact that we're getting a lot of plus money here. Chat. I mean, Malcolm could win. I've been watching high Mew songs. The tech you played the dragon game. I forgot what it was called, but I've been watching you since 2021. Awesome. So I've been watching uh, you or since you're saying the the like you played the dragon game. I forgot what it was called. Are you talking about like subscribers, uh, subscriber goals with the dragons? We still do that. It's just when we hit, like, we've spread out the goals, and it's usually during fight buddies is when we do that. So we do unleash the dragons, hence all our dragon stuff. Thank you, Romero, back-to-back, -back, 699. <laughs> Savage, brother. Thank you for your support. I'm going to roll the dice on uh, Petrovsky over here. I'm going to roll the dice. Why not? You only live once, guys. All right, so let's get some action here. No parlays. I don't think I'm parlaying tonight. Oh, you never know. You never know. All right, uh, let's see. So Petrosky, <clears throat> plus 200. Sure. Give it to me. $5 to win 10. All right, Petrosky, you're in. All right, we already got action. Second fight on the card. Petrosky, what's him by decision? Petrosky, Andre Petrosky, KO or points, plus 325. Wow. Damn. So, a KO or points, a plus 325. Damn. Submission, plus 285. Yo, uh, Petrosky on my bookie. By the way, mybookie.ag, the promo code is MMAHOLES for that 10% match in your first deposit. Um, yo, Petrosky by KO or points, like either or, a plus 325. I kind of want to jump on that shit. No, I'm going to watch you like submit him. That's not bad. Fucking hell. All right, so we got the Petrosky bet in. Let's look at the rest of this. Man, I might be putting a bunch of bets on this card. Okay. Petrosky decision. We move on. Gato versus Dudakova. Man, I was having an issue with this. When I saw the face-off before, I was having quite the issue. Uh, Romero, LOL. Let's see. Saw them three times. That tour. Oh, we got a whole we got a whole side side thing going on here. Rush. You know, I never seen Rush live. I never was a big fan of Rush. I respect the drummer. But like I never I never liked the singing in Rush. It drove me nuts. But you know what I've been listening to lately? Attila. <laughs> so if you're a Rush fan, just go listen to Attila and then you'll be like, okay, now I know why you're not listening to Rush. Anyone like Attila? <laughs> That's what I've been listening to at the gym. A little Attila. <clears throat> anyway, all right. Gato versus Dudakova. All right, let's see. Russia versus Brazil. Uh, Dudakova on an eight fight win streak. Decision, knockout. So she had the contender series. She beat Nunez, uh, Jin Yu Frey. And then Gato just lost to Tracy Cortez. And Lipsky. Ooh, you lost to Lipsky? Shit. Beat Eubanks, KO. Man, are we going? We're gonna go with the Dudakova on this, getting the plus money, huh? Let's see what's the height. Five five, both five five. Although Gato got a little bit of that reach. Man, Russians getting plus money. Take my money, baby. Damn, we might be placing another Betsky. I tell you what, the Dudakova. 
Petrasky parlay? Oh, shit. You're going to suck me in. Let's look at this. Let's take a look. Okay, the Russian. God, so it looks like she's ready. The Russian got a bullet vibe to her. Even the stance. Um, are my, Am I going to fall for the trap? Fuck yeah, I am. And I'm going to bet on this bitch. Dudakova? <laughs> yeah! Let's go, baby! Plus 130. Let's throw a five on her. Take my money. All right, we're, we're, you know, you know, we're doing a parlay, right? You, you know, it's happening. I'm going to lose all my money on this card. Dude, what am I doing? All right, here we go. Do the cover. Let's place it up. I'm in. Do the cover for the win. I'm going to go broke on this card. What is happening here? God, it was hot. I think both of them are attractive, right? They're, they're both uh, not ugly. Ah, super chat. I was actually talking about Elder Ring low butt best oh. month. I sent $30 so I can get on your play stash and game mark. I was actually talking about Elder Ring. Oh, so you're talking about the uh, the gummy gang. Uh, but best month I sent $30 so I can get on your PlayStation game, Mark. Uh, oh, you got to hit the Connor Dono on gummy gang. Yes. The Connor th Dono. I, s I send money uh, to you, homie. I said I sent more than $30. Oh, you're saying all together? All right. I mean, you've been very generous, right? What do you think, chat? Well, this is a conversation for Gummy Gang. Because, <laughs> you know, you're dragging Gummy. You, we're not supposed to talk about Gummy Gang over here. I know it's been brought up, but it's just shh, shh. That's our secret hangout. But most likely, I'll let you slide onto the PlayStation, for God's sake. You've been, you've been very generous. Very, very generous. Thank you. Hey, three in a row, $6.99. Come on, champs. You're a savage, Romero. Thank you so much, my man. Appreciate you for your support. That's really, really kind of you. Hey, anyone rolling the dice on Dudakova? Because I am. I'm either going to be raging on tomorrow tomorrow's stream. I'm going to be going fucking nuts. Or I'll be very happy. I'm delighted. So Dudakova by decision. That's two in a row underdogs. And I'm not confident about e either. But like this, like you're getting plus money on the Russian undefeated. You're getting plus money on Petrosky. Both guys coming off of losses. You want to play the MMA math game? Uh, where is it? The Maximov, he submitted him. Anaconda choke. Malkoon was only able to get a decision win. You know? Why not? Look, Dudakova, everyone on Tapology is picking her. How's everyone doing here? Whoa, people are picking Petrosky on this. Damn. The line might move, fellas. All right, I'm synced up with Tapology here. All right, Turkal, he's still on the he's still on the roster. I thought he got cut. Lost to Tyson Pedro, lost to Petrino, uh, Jelton Almeida. No way, I'm picking you, bro. This kid coming out of the uh, contenders. I mean, here's the problem: Turkal has to win. You're trash at streaming, dude. I've fucking been doing this for almost eight years. And by the way, I know who you are. Um, it's tough when you have a guy that's on a three fight skid, right? And he's called the pleasure man. So he, he got the contract from the contender series and then on a three fight losing streak, this dude has not had a UFC win. He has to win. So who do you lose? So you lost to Almeida. It's okay. Petrino. It's okay. Tyson Pedro. It's okay. He just retired. Um, hmm. Let's look at the face off. I'm not, I'm, am I betting on another under? Oh, you got the flag. Nah, Ebo's going to win. Ebo's going to win. He's got the look. He's got the look of a crazy bastard. Oh, wait, hold on a second. He got submitted by... Whoa, 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 whoa. Pump the brakes. Whoa, 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 I just looked at this right now. His last loss was to Turkolge. He got submitted by him. In Brave, three years, seven months ago. 
They're both the same age. Six, four, six. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's a rematch. Dude, that was a complete mistake. I didn't even know that. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Shit, this is not a lock. So, Turkolch is trying to get... He can't lose this fight. He already got the sub on this dude. Shit. We might have to go Turk. We're going to go Pleasure Man. His last win was one year, eight months ago. I'm going to go Pleasure Man by decision. Fuck, that's three unders in a row. Holy shit. Who did he beat? A knockout? Not, he's been knocking these dudes out. Hmm. That's crazy. Damn, three years ago. A lot could change in three years. Let me look at this again. I should stick to my guns. He, I gotta I gotta go with Turkal just because this guy can't afford to lose. He just can't. Wow. Rematch. Interesting. Who are you guys going with here? Let me know. Who are you guys going for? Tour College looks uh, like a straight Ricky Martin. <laughs> what the chances? Dude, that's crazy. Did you guys know that? Everyone I'm certain... Hold on. Is going to win, ends up losing, uh, so I'll always go against your picks, Moss. Listen, you can you could either win or lose. Go against my picks, you lose. Mystical Moss's percentages are through the roof. He has like one bad fight, like... Fight card every like four or five months. I mean, Jesus, you want to lose money? Go the other direction, okay? Pick against me. Ah, oh, super chat. Let me know how that works out. Romero! All right, no worries, bro. I don't know the rules. I'm sorry, like Lord Voldemort. We don't talk about him. <laughs> I don't even know who Voldemort is, but thank you. Is that a uh, Harry Potter? Who is that? Thank you. Romero, yo, fucking Romero. <laughs> Romero! Yo, that is four donos in a row. Six ninety nine. Yo, Romero going deep into the stream. Thank you. Humbled by your support. Appreciate you, my man. Thank you, Romero. Thank you. Let's go, Romero. You the man, dog. All right, wh who, which way are you guys going? I'm going to go with Turk College just because, listen, he needs to stay. He needs a win in the worst way. He does have a win over Ebo, although Ebo has been slaughtering people as of late. Uh, we'll see. I mean, three years, a lot of things change. This dude Ebo does look scary. But I'm going to go with Turk College. Why not? I can't change it now. That one girl is high as fuck and lost as fuck. Whoa. Uh, let's see. Same girl. Lou Dog is high as fuck as well. Going Evo because lost was four years ago. Okay, fair. Fair. I'm not gonna bet on this one. I'm not gonna bet on this one. I want to, but I'm not gonna do it. Another dog. Yeah. So I literally just picked. This is bad news. This is not good, guys. You have safe bets are always going for the favorites. You know, it's the safe way. You always wind up being over 500. Once in a blue moon, you'll have an event where you do trash. But if you pick all the favorites, chances are you're going to be you be doing pretty solid with your picks. So these are massive gambles here. But I love plus money, baby. And that's why I do the predictions. I'm trying to seek out, oh, hey, where, what's the best plus money value we can get? You know, let's have a little fun on a, an Atlantic City card that could be underwhelming, you know? So we'll see how it goes. But I got the bet on Malkoon. I got the bet on Dudakova. I'm going to pass on Tur College. We might have a mighty bet. Might do a dollar mighty bet. You never know. Now we go to Connor Matthews versus Bazookia. This is another fucking guy. Dennis Bazookia. Like, he gets a million chances. Um, he fights out of law MMA. And he kind of falls flat every time. Like, he gets a, an opportunity. Even though he came... This one, Sean Woodson, I'll give him a pass. He came in, like, really short notice. Got knocked out by Emmers. Uh, Connor Matthews. Let's see what he's got. He's just coming out of the contender series. Perhaps Bazuki is finally going to get his hand raised. Let's look at the face off. I mean, I mean, he should get this one done. He should probably have the crowd's probably going to be, he, he, tra he travels deep too. 
Bazookia, where is he from? He's got the... I know he's from New York, but what is his... Shit. His heritage. Because he's... His people follow him wherever he goes. I can't remember where he's from. But anyway, low MMA guy. He was supposed to come on the program a couple of years back. And then he's like, oh shit, I forgot. I should I forgot I was gonna I forgot we were lined up, man. I, I gotta I gotta go to dinner with the family. And I never invited him back on the show. I got his phone number, never invited him back on. I was like, you disgrazia. But I'll root for him. All right, Bazooki has got this. This is a lock. This is a lock, guys. This is a lock, if I've ever seen one. It's a lock. Right, I'm going to go Bazooki a decision. <laughs> lock. Lock it up. I didn't know Burns was still here, the dysfunctional, retarded brother of Gilbert, but he is. The Justin Jr. looking motherfucker. I didn't know he was still here, but he is. He is still here, and he's fighting Julio Arce. Arce is a minus 400 favorite. Lost to Montel Jackson. Uh, beat Daniel Santos. Yudong Song lost. I mean, he's due for a win. He'll get it. Oh, also he's from Jersey. Oh, yeah. This Burns guy. He was carried out. He was carried out of the cage like when Gilbert Burns was carrying him out of the cage like when Doomsday killed Batman or Doomsday killed Superman. It's kind of like that. This guy's terrible. Oh my god. This yo Burns does look like that retard on <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Yeah, Ars got this. Got this. How's he going to beat him? He's going to knock him out. Uh, decision. <laughs> Actually, he's been smoked in his last two, right? He knocked out. He did knock out Andre Ew. All right, fuck it. Let's go knock out. Okay, oh. Okay, oh, in two. All right. Ars knockout in two. This one's a tough one. Jandy Roba versus Godinez. I feel like whichever way I go with Jandy Roba, it's the opposite. So this is one of those opposites you might want to go with because I never could get her right. She confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> Newark airport area is nice. <laughs> Uh, weight bully Ars is cry uh cry versus Cryberry v Burns. Yeah, that guy, man. All right, so Jandy Rover is 35 years of age, and Loopy now on a four fight win streak. Tabitha Ricci. Uh, this is a good fight, good lady fight. Five three to five two, 64 inch reach. Jandy Rover knows how to win a dog fight. She won the Rodriguez fight. Angela Hill uh, lost the Hibas. Mm, damn, she is tiny though, Jandaroba. We already know that Loopy's tiny. Tap the Reach, Elias Reed, Dakote. I, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna go against uh, Rob Schneider. Go Viva Mexico. I'm a fan of Loopy. Let's go, Loopy. Yeah, Loopy's got a fighter face. Yeah, Loopy. Let's go, Loopy. She got the fighter face. All right, Loopy, for the win, decision. <laughs> okay, the Nate the Great is back, baby. The Train versus Pretty Boy. Get ready for the fight of the night right here as he lost to Dan Ige looking to redeem himself. Lingo Submission, Onama. This guy's fun in interviews. Jamal Emmers. Oh, he beat Bazookia. He's on this card four months ago. Mm, Jack Jenkins. Huh. Wow, Landwehr is getting... So MMA Masters versus Pinnacle MMA, 5'10", 5'9", 70.5, 74-inch reach. Could Nate the Great get me some plus money action here? Let's see. Let's, let's take a look at it. It's a good fight. That's a good fight. It's going to be fun. Are we pulling the trigger on Nate the Great? Every girl fight I bet on loses no matter what. Yeah, I'm the same way. It's It's brutal. Too many clam encounters. So far, not too upset, though. I'm interested in those two fights. Uh, 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 uh. Did Bougie Brandon run off with a young fella? He's not on the show anymore. 
I tell you what, I bet he's very happy that you're still talking about him, though. I don't think it, it really matters. As long as you're still talking about him, I, th I would imagine, because considering he hasn't been on the show in a couple of weeks, right? And you guys are still talking about him. So I, I would imagine that he's pretty delighted by that. I don't know. If he's lurking in the chat, maybe he can answer. DM him on Instagram. Only bet on things uh, you think have a real good chance of winning. People who bet too many fights. Uh, that's why most lose when they bet. Yeah, listen. I mean, at the end of the day, you just don't know. You know, with this game, with this game, I feel like the UFC is still the easiest sport to bet on. Out of all sports, I feel like UFC is clearly the easiest to bet on. But you do have to battle with judges, refs, you know, on top of the things would kind of screw things up. But uh, anyway, all right. I want to pick Lamwire. I want to pick him. Just because I want to bet on him, but I'm not I'm not confident. I'm gonna pick him here. I'm gonna say he's gonna win some sort of decision. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna swing. I'm not gonna bet on him, but I might throw like a parlay or something together. We'll see. Andrew Kwani versus Rice McGee. This guy was a fucking failure, right? Yeah, he lost to Lusa. He had another chance too. Yeah, Alex Morono. My goodness. Every time this guy comes into UFC, he gets uh, an L. He catches an L. He's tall, too, right? 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, uh, yeah, he just wins in Cage Warriors. Now, Angel Kwani is on a three-fight skid. Alexa Chuck, Duraev, and Gregory Rodriguez. All three are good. Listen, this dude's winning. Chidi's winning. Chidi's got this. Chidi's got this. This cage warriors. Go. Oh, we got some banter over here. What's going on? What's going on over here? This dude looks like a possum. Oh, he's going to knock the Irish out of this kid. Oh, my God. Yo, he's... <laughs> oh, my God. There's no way. I can't pick him. All right. He was knocked out. Uh, Let's see. All right, we're going to say Chidi's going to knock him out. I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm going to go two. I was going to say one, but I'm going to go two. Chidi, bang, bang. He's going to redeem himself. You know, he has been knocked out. He knocked out by Alexa Chuck and Gregory Rodriguez. The last knocked out was six months ago. A little concerning. Um, But I think Chidi's going to get the win. This Rice guy doesn't look very good. Okay, I'm going Cheaty, baby. Cheaty cut massive weight. Okay, we'll see. Kyle Nelson versus Bill Algeo. Bill Algeo. This guy knows how to win a decision, that's for sure. He's got a Herbert Burns win. Uh, Let's see, Kyle Nelson from Canada. Fernando Padilla. I feel pretty confident about Bill. Six foot five, eleven, seventy-three. All right, I feel pretty confident about this. I think Billy decision. I think Billy the decision can be all right. Kyle's not budging. Oh, Kyle's got a good stare. Is Billy from Boston or something? Oh no, he's from uh, he's from Pennsylvania. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Aljo decision. Okay, we move on. I, t I just can't root for Dumas. I just can't. He seems like a complete penis head. Uh, so, I'm most likely picking uh, Rujabov. 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 33-8-2. Just beat Ferreira eight months ago. Knockout. And that was his debut. Um, let's see. Six. Wow. It's dude 6-5. That's right. Holy shit. Dude. So, they just... <laughs> Dumas just got himself in trouble with the law again. So look what they did. They f they're they feeding him to... <laughs> oh my god, dude. Now Dumas is on a two-fight win streak. He actually looked alright in his last. He beat Azaitar and Cody Brundage. I mean, two pretty solid wins. Lost to Josh Fremd. But I don't think he's getting past the first round. Alright, so we're going to go Rajabov. Uh, hmm has been submitted. All right, we're going submission. Submission round one. All right, Rajabov, Rujibov. 
submission. My, my nose is so itchy. Holy smokes. Anyone picking Dumas? 33, 8, and 2. The dude is six foot five. I'm telling you, they're saying, all right, Dumas, you want to keep winning? You want to keep on doing some weird shit outside of the cage, getting in trouble? I'm going to feed you to this guy. Now, if Dumas wins this fight, Dumas is pretty legit. Dumas is going to shut up a lot of people if he wins this fight, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right, we move on. Bruno Silva versus Chris Wyman. Oh, God. You know me, man. You know me. I love picking the All-American over here. But I am not. Oh, fucking hell. I just feel like he's, his legs get chopped down again. Bruno Silva sucks. Mm. But he's got heavy hands. Uh, fucking hell. Look at these records. Ah, oh, one was a champ. What's the age? 34, 39. Chris Weidman coming off that injury. Last win was the Amari fight. He was a little bigger. That's why. And he kind of smothered him. Got knocked out. Uriah Hole. That was the leg. And Brad Tavares just beat up that leg bad. I would imagine Bruno Silva is going to do the same thing. Um, fuck. Wow. 14% picking Chris. I just can't do it, man. Ah, oh, this dude, this fight is brutal. How can I, I don't know who to pick. Like, I want to see this fight. As a fan, I'm excited about this fight, especially being on the East Coast. And I hope Chris wins. But how could you pick him? He's got a 78-inch reach. He still feels that he can compete with the best of them. Tavares beat the fuck out of him. Uh, let's see. He lost to Magomedov, Brendan Allen, Mirashart, and Alex Pereira. I mean, look at the losses. They're pretty good. Tavares, Hall, Reyes, and Souza. All right, I got to pick Silva. I'll say Silva's going to win decision. I don't know. Sorry, Chris. I hope you win, man. Man, I hope Chris gets the plus money. I just can't do it. I can't pull the trigger. Anyone picking Weidman? I hope he wins, but I can't pick him. Says freedom guy. I can't either, man. I'm rooting hard for Weidman. I hope he wins. I'll tell you what. If I'm doing good on the bets, I'll probably throw a couple of bucks on Weidman for the hell of it. But I can't pick him. All right. This one's not easy. Because Buckley's looked all right. Wow. This, this fight's even. Buckley looked real solid against Morono. Uh, knocked out Fialo. Last loss was Curtis. He got clipped. He was winning that fight. Uh, let's see. Imavov decision loss. Turayev. All right, so Desanos, he kind of muscled him here. So now, I don't think he's going to be doing that with Buckley. He's going to try. This is probably going to stay on the feet. Got knocked out by Neil. Lost the decision to Bilal. Submitted Kiesa. Submitted Woodley. That Woodley fight. That, round, that first round was crazy with Woodley. Man, Vicente Luque is still pretty young, too. He's still only 32 years of age. Ah, oh, super chat. Romero still up in the biz? Let's go, Romero. Thank you, Romero. Yeah, I think I think I might be picking Buckley as well, but I am not confident. Let me look at this face-off. This is the co-main event. We actually flew through this car pretty quick. Thank you guys for sticking around. Three hours, 35 minutes. Appreciate you guys going deep into the evening. If you haven't hit the like button, do so. You still have a chance to hit the donation. If you want to hit a super chat or a stream labs, feel free to do that as well. Oh, Vicente looking big. <laughs> Look at Buckley. Oh, this is a good fight, baby. Now, Buckley's just got to stick with the game. If Buckley could stick to, with a game plan... What are we saying? Hold on a second. Is there on Instagram? Let's see. Stupid ass music, man. Down and down and down. Like, what the fuck, bro? There's no embedded, so like. Dana. Oh, Dana. Here we go. Hey, let's go, boy. You know what I mean? I like your nickname, though. You know what I mean? 
the silent assassin. But it's time to uh, silence the assassin once and for all. Let's go. He really is. <laughs> he's so cringe. He's. I like him, man, but he's so cringy, man. He's. It's not assassin, but you know, it's time to silent the assassin. Let's go. What are you saying, bro? Thank you, gentlemen. Good night tomorrow night. Yo, Buckley's a tough son of a bitch, man. He's a tough son of a bitch, but I still feel that Luke A should win. I feel it. Man. Buckley was outperforming Chris before he got knocked out. <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna pick I'm gonna run with Buckley. Buck it. I'm going Buckley decision. Let's see. If you can keep a tight game plan. I think his style could be a problem for Luke. Um, but man, this is not easy. Luke should win. But I think Buckley's going to get it done. I just watched Roadhouse and kicked a hole in the wall. That's a, that's a side effect of watching Roadhouse. The testosterone spikes. Uh, Buckley is cringe in a good way. You know what it is? Like when we were showing the, I don't know if you were here earlier, Joe Mama, but we were showing the video of Buckley signing the posters. Like it's uh, very wholesome. Um, he's a likable, he just seems like a really nice dude. Uh, but he is very cringy. Very, very cringy. I'm going to pick him. I'm going to roll with him. What do you guys think? Luke A or Buckley? Now, this pick over here, I tell you, a five-round fight, Furo, 10 years older, uh, taller, a little bit longer. No, actually, no, not longer. Actually, two inches shorter with the reach, but five seven five four higher in the height. This girl knows how to win a decision. She just knows how to do it. Man, when was the last time she finished someone? Two years and nine months ago, Tabitha Ricci. But she knows how to fight a real smart decision. And Blanchfield, who has been very good, and she could win decisions as well, uh, I do feel that, you know, she's better when she's going to finish somebody. If it stays on the feed, I feel like Fioro is the better striker. Um, but I just want Blanchfield to win. So I think I'm just going to be picking this as a fan for Blanchfield. And her opponent at home. I mean, look how much bigger. Holy smokes. Uh, man. Furo decision. Furo just beat Rose, right? Decision on Rose. That was a close fight if I don't, if I remember correctly. Uh... <clears throat> Man, she knows how to win a decision. <sighs> I tell you what, Fioro as an underdog is not terrible. It isn't terrible, especially the fight going the distance. <sighs> Last cheated at school and went to weenie boy school. The fuck even talks like this? All right, I'm going to fucking hell, man. I'm going to hope Blanchfield gets on top a couple of times and uh, it goes the distance. Stays on her beats her up a couple of rounds. Steals three out of the two. I'm going to say Blanchfield. But that's, I'm picking as a fan. I'm picking as a fan there. Let's go back to my bookie and let's have a little fun. All right. So the bets are in. I mean, the predictions are in. We have two bets, Dudakova straight up and Petrosky straight up. Uh, let's see. Let's have, let's have a little fun. All right. So if we do Petrosky, Dudakova, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, that's already a plus 590. So you bet a buck. You went $590. No, I'm just kidding. $5.90. It would be cool if we won that, but all right. Let's let's just have a fun one here. Let's just let's just for shits and giggles. Turkholge. Um Dudakova. Uh, Petrosky.
That's already all right. So if you do a dollar on that puppy, thirteen forty nine. Now we're looking good. Nate the Great, you want to throw in there? Wow, plus three thousand six six seven. Uh. Not touching Weidman. All right. All right. So this is a plus three, six, six, seven. And it's Turkolj, Dudikova, Petrosky, and Nate the Great. We'll just throw a big dollar in there, win 3667. All right. What do you guys think about this? Those that are love, you know, parlays and shit like that. Turkolj, Dudikova, Petrosky, and Nate Landwire. A plus. 3,667. You put a dollar in, you win uh, $36.67. Not a bad turnaround over there for a dollar. So I'm going to throw it in for the hell of it. One of these will hit eventually. It's in, it's locked. Plus money, Mark. Yeah, I think they're all risky, to be honest. I think they're all risky. That's why I only threw a dollar on that. But what the hell, man? You know, you never know. Uh, I just got to hit on one of the straight up bets and we're good. And if I do hit on one of the straight up bets, or if I hit on both of them, then I'll probably throw some money on Wybin just for the hell of it for fun. But we'll see where this thing takes us. All right. So we got a, a parlay. We got two straight ups. We got our predictions all together and we have fooked off on a Friday. I want to thank everyone for stopping by this wonderful, wonderful stream. Like I said, tomorrow, the uh, fight reaction is going to be scheduled. So make sure you got the notification bell rung. 14 fights on the card. I want to see all of you here tomorrow on the stream. Thank you for all the likes. And go uh, binge watch the video uploads that we've been putting up. Hit the like on that. Comment on those videos to put us in the algorithm. And comment on this video as well. You know, in the comment section down below. Who you picking? Who you betting on? Was there a funny moment that you want to timestamp? Throw it all down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for stopping by. And um, don't be an a-hole. B. An MMA hole. Good night. And I hope Joe Mama doesn't get killed by that ghost.